Oh, I was yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So happy. Yeah. We did it. We're back. <laughs> I was trying to be supportive. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm happy. No, I see it. It got it got caught on camera. What a good time. It actually, wow, yeah. real footage of Carlos Luna being supportive. Uh, <laughs> so supportive. Uh, I, I'm saying you were being supported by your oh, fellow cast, yeah. by your friends and coworkers. Right. I'm well. going to get one of those digital frames and put it in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> this moment? No, 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 no. We'll make an NFT of it. We'll clip it and make it an best. NFT. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, chat. We missed you. Welcome back to Generation Fantasy, hey. a D&D 5e campaign set in Jenkins, Nebraska. I'm Katie May, your DM for this evening. Let's get online and introduce ourselves, starting with TK. Tell us your name name and the name of your pc i don't want to my name is tk and i'm playing by you our pronouns are they them next hey what's up everyone my name is carlos luna i'm playing omo and both our uh, pronouns are he him woo next Hi, I'm Slani. I am playing uh, kaya almost <laughs> forgot it's been a couple weeks <laughs> playing kaya and pronouns are she her and last but not least Hey, I'm Masood, I'm playing Kent Vanderbilt, and uh, both our pronouns are he, him. Are you cosplaying today? Oh, I've been <laughs> cosplaying every night. Every night of this season, I'm putting on what if another Masood ridiculous no. kind of outfit. Honestly, I'm seeing a lot of hype. This is how I dress. I'm seeing a lot of hype in chat for your outfit. Thank so you, I appreciate it. We get some it. more think, hype in chat good. for Masood's look. Um, this this <laughs> week, not. instead of last week, we got all of our ceremonies about it out of the way pre-show, no. so that there's no evidence of it on the internet anymore. I'm saying, like, if we want to make a, a a a portion of the evening roasting the outfit that I come up with, because I really I wanted to watch a dangerous a line. I wanted to be like that yeah. looks good in the right spaces. I don't want to roast the outfit. I just want to roast you in the outfit, though. That's yeah, right. sure. okay. and that's the thing is, like, I I'm trying to prevent uh, yeah. what would be real economic harm done to you because I know you would like run out of outfits pretty quick and then be like. Well, and pull out your credit card. Yeah, like, I'm for the bit. Like, I'm never afraid. I'm yeah. more afraid Rock of like comedy. there being there being a day where he doesn't come dressed up, and we just roast him for his regular <laughs> clothes. That's what that's what I'm worried about. I'm yeah, waiting for I'm someone sure else to the bring. Past two weeks, probably yeah. like probably <laughs> like the second the second episode that we did. He probably didn't come dressed up. He was like, just like. Uh, Okay. It's like, oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, guys. The, the path uh, to friendship is so hard. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, speaking of friendship, uh, let's head over to uh, the screen with the skulls on it, our countdown screen, oh, if you right. will, dear Carlos. Yeah. Uh, we're actually, I accidentally called someone, just a coworker today, like, sweet their name here. I was like, hello, sweet coworker, will you do this? And they looked at me like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm, so I need to I need to sort of walk no. that back. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. I need to respect, no? When I, no, when I started working there, I started weird and then pulled back, like, gradually. So everybody knows mm. what to expect. Mm -hmm. That's smart. That's why everybody is my sweet angel baby or my, my delightful jellyfish or whatever. I don't mm. care about any of them. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have that on tape. <laughs> oh, 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 that's, that's right. right. That I that's said the, it listen, and I'll say it again. Listen, jellyfish. Don't read into the name, okay? Listen, listen, you hot little jellyfish, cool down. Okay. <laughs> My little sweet pea, I hate you. Someone's okay. crying right now because I, of Well, I don't respect them enough to tell them I hate them to their face, but sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a respectable person. I say it behind their backs. Exactly. Um, well, unless you're doing my review this week, in which case, you were my favorite. Uh, okay. Um, oh, resented sweet peas. We oh. are now going to do the part of this session at the beginning where you fight for your inspiration, which I'm so excited about. Oh, I got to pull the little icon over. Who got inspiration last week? Um, Solani. Solani. I mean, Kaya? Kaya. 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 We're looking Why cute, have we all so forgotten Kaya's it. name? Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't know if it was the player or the... <laughs> Oh, the human? How that do we earn? How do we I feel like Solani goes in every week with. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um, fight fight for your right for inspiration, okay. um, based on your actions that occurred uh, last week. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Kaya, who won last week, and wrap our way around. So um, Masood, you're on deck. 
I put okay. one little crown beneath, or oh wait, should I put it above? I'll put them by their heads to track their win, track the win count. Oh wow, that's um, what those are for. Uh, that's yeah, fun. Wow. that's like really that. cute that's and cool. also demoralizing. <laughs> <laughs> well, My maybe the crown things. will motivate you. Maybe, well, maybe that'll be worth it. Wow. It'll um, certainly motivate me to keep it away from Kent. <laughs> See, um, so uh, it, chat, if you have not familiar, this is the part where they're going to fight for their chance for inspiration. They are going to argue to you, the people, why they deserve the inspiration and what they did last week to deserve it. And then you are going to vote, which means I got to pull up the poll. I got to make it. Uh, so I'm going to do that while you all fight for your life. Um, so let's, so we're going to start with Kaya, 30 seconds on the clock. Dearest Kaya, why do you deserve inspiration in three, two, one, go. Because she's the only one who used two spells last time. She's Misty Step and uh, Chromatic Orb. Wow. <laughs> Stop time again. You never use your whole time. I respect <laughs> it. I'm terrified by it. It's a I, I get to the point. It is very <laughs> uh, I, it's so powerful. Uh -huh. um, all right. As uh, Kent having to follow that up, uh, why do you deserve inspiration in three, two, one, go? Uh, Kent discovered he was magic. Also, he was on book for a play after like a day and Ooh. also uh, threatened everyone else that their parents would have to work the weekend. And that was like a pretty, pretty intense move to like enter into a cast and like dominate. So like kudos to that. Kudos to him for like really just taking charge. Um, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Okay, interesting. Um, <laughs> all right, so that's that. Uh, Bayou, why do you deserve inspiration for your actions last week? In three, two, one, go. Um, Bayou didn't show up to school wearing colonizer chic. Bayou didn't <laughs> threaten to uh, put everybody's parents on mandatory overtime if they weren't on the book for honestly a pretty mediocre mu musical um Damn. bayou didn't immediately attack a valedictorian's honor and integrity when they found out that they could use magic so all right well what do you know better than kent in every way okay <laughs> All right, Omo, you could go for the first double crown before some of your classmates get theirs. So um, why do you, Omo, deserve inspiration for your actions last week in three, two, one, go? Because I went hard for my squirrel, meow, meow. I dropped everything. I went home. I just packed a bag, gave away all my stuff, gave away my car. I didn't even care. I just needed to find that guy. And then when I was being attacked by a giant cow, I protected him at all costs. I went into the fray to protect him. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm not kidding. Not your so, friends. So. Just You're not kidding. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Add that, add that on. Okay. Whatever, whatever yeah. amount of points that is, add that on. Yeah, add that on. All right. Well, and as always, I leave myself as the fifth option, but I will not argue for myself. Um, however, I do want to go a quick round robin because I'm finding out that this question actually indicates a lot more about a person that I thought it would. Okay. And I think I might have asked a version of it on Mythic Odysseys of Theros, but I need to revisit just quick maybe one sentence to justify it. If you, a human being, had the no hold barred opportunity to bathe in mac and cheese, would you take it? Last time you said jump into a bath of mac and cheese. Would this you bathe in a thing of mac and cheese? Just so like, I need if, it on the record. No, but. if I go into a tub, are you asking me, I bathe I've in asked mac this, I know I've like, asked before, I would, you, you, I come you out have and the I opportunities presented to, to you. clean? Or, or am I just clean up to you? No, am I, you. am I swimming in mac and cheese or am I using soap while in a tub of mac and cheese? There is just a bathtub of mac and cheese presented with you to do what you will. Will you submerge? Clothes on or clothes off? How hot is a mac and cheese? into a pool clothes <laughs> on? Come on. Uh, it's, it's a bathtub. You're bathing though. You're bathing. If I'm naked, it's a yes. All right, Carlos. Carlos is like, if TK is naked, it's a no. <laughs> well, Wait, is it the same bathtub? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, What's would, the top like? Would is I do that or how many times do I have to do that? Just would you once? do it? Just to say you did. Just oh, yeah, definitely. It. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. just one. Yeah, so yeah for sure. It would be incredible. Am I, am I getting paid? Wait, how no. big are the noodles? Paid with memories. 
No. Paid an expensive you money do it, sure. honestly? No. Not unless I'm getting paid for it. I do it. You get paid in memories and a potential yeast in I'll be there to take pictures. That's so true. kind. That's very that's very and supportive. Masood. Um I think I have to ask the the question that TK asked. How big are the noodles? Are they like yeah. in, in a, so in a bathtub of mac and cheese? Are they yeah, regular slightly, or are they like jumbo okay. size? No, no, like, yeah, are they jumbo? Slightly, a slightly yeah. larger elbow, like a noodles and company elbow. If it oh, was lasagna. Okay. Okay. No, noodles, so noodles my, and company ones are super small. So my arm wouldn't it wouldn't wouldn't be like no, an elbow where your arm's not no, it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. to <laughs> size <laughs> elbow. How dangerous is this? How dangerous am I getting away with that? I'm rolling up the whole it's like, excuse me, sir. I would like uh, some elbow, uh, some elbow pasta to scale, please. <laughs> yes, please. Just scale elbow pasta. I want to wear a macaroni like a like a floaty. Yes, that's, that's the hot the boy summer you're going for. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, so uh, oh. let, what, was, what was the results of them poll? Let me let me let me go back and look. View think- results. Who got it? Oh, Bayou. Bayou. Swept. Well done. Did you spend all your channel points on that? I didn't spend any Someone spent a points, lot of actually. channel points on it. It popped up <laughs> on my it. screen. I was but like, you know what? what? <laughs> <laughs> get it. Get it. <laughs> um, all right. So then uh, let me put a little crown by your head. You have one inspiration. Can my I good, use my good. inspiration to give somebody else a disadvantage? That was a rule always. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, you you may even use those inspirations to give me disadvantage. That's what I'll say. Uh, so how uh, these expire at the end of the day? No, they expire. I don't think you can hold more than one. I know. No, I'm just saying. I think like that's just the rule. They I don't never ever expire, <laughs> but you can't hold more than one with you. Okay, I I will wait to fuck over Kent. Wow. Smart. We haven't even started. Wait yet. until it matters. <laughs> like, like before they even start. Kent, your shoelaces are tied together. Fucking no one ready, knows how it happened. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so five second summary of what happened last week. Basically, um, you all tried to go back to your lives after what you discovered in the uh, the old Valiant High that had been closed due to a biohazard incident. And just like that, it wouldn't let you go back to real life because you were in the middle of the theater, of the sweet, sweet black box theater that sits a solid 25 people at Spring Summit High School when the cow accidentally ate a vial and a wolf costume from into the woods and turned into a dire cow wolf. But our heroes, they prevailed no in a beautiful that. battle uh, for justice and life. Yeah, <laughs> is, this, is this how Dungeon Master sounds? <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, and then, okay. Don't change it. The then yes. the heroes revived sweet Holly Lamb and gave her a drive home. This almost turned into an accident. I have to stop yeah. it. <laughs> I, don't I, like know about this I think now. you keep going. You gotta <laughs> commit. You gotta commit. commit. This mm-hmm. this bit is a cliff, and I don't want to fall off. <laughs> um, Just give um, the rest this Holly Lamb. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. So you guys, you guys, rest Holly Lamb. Uh-huh. Um, you um, who got who get, managed who got. to pull hmm. the mana, the raw mana that Holly Lamb had been bitten with by Meow Meow Mm -hmm. out of her body, her system, because who knows what it would have done if it had stayed there. And you and, nope, not by you, Kent and Omo drove Holly Lamb back. And then they all met back up at the movie theater inside Kent's house (laughs) where you all- the media wing, yeah. uh, and you yes. all decided, you all talked, you started planning, and now you have all decided to head outside for a training montage. I do believe what you've called it. And how I would like to start this is, Kent, I have my notebook here. I, I, mm. I see that you see that I've been holding it this whole time. Mm. It's been for this express reason only. Please describe Kent's backyard. Oh, it's immaculate, purely, it's just stunning. Um, you see, hedges just like running across dividing the backyard into three separate portions um on and each one is like football uh size and width in between hedges like that's how like the backyard is set up football, um, it, football field football width football width, width. like so oh, like uh, so okay. in comparison okay um yeah. 
And so you've got one which is just set up is the uh, tennis courts just sort of running up and down for like they've got two of them back to back um next to the tennis courts is a basketball court like they have like oh, basically wow. like all of that sort of situated on one side between the hedges the next one is a lovely um fountain sort of surrounded by uh, multiple uh, sort of benches uh, a lot of like beautiful garden work and uh toppery Topiary, I don't know what the word is, but you, you know, the, the topiary. Topiary, thank you, thank you. I can't believe uh, you just went topiary and I went topiary. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> Continue. Thing. Um, and then on the other side, on the last one, it is um, just gorgeous, um, like backyard equipment so like the Ooh. perfect grill the perfect pizza the outdoor pizza oven you know it's got a, like even uh like there's a small pool that's not really like like big enough to do laps in because it's like a pool at home but they've got like the hot tub attachment onto it like it's it's all of it of course built in none of this above ground stuff no, um no, no, yeah no. And that's the nice thing about being new money is it's all the newest things. Mm -hmm. So, so you got the newest hot tub there. You got the new pizza oven. Um, I, I, I assume you maybe uh, relocate yourselves to one of the tennis courts for the training. Um, tell me what equipment are you bringing to this training montage? Uh, how are you, how are you preparing yourselves? Um, I think uh, Kent sets, uh, sets up uh, one of the tennis ball machines. To just like, Ooh. like speed, like, and like setting it up, like okay, if they want to like throw it at them or like up in the air, um, but at least like that's what that's why they're out there. From Ken's okay. opinion. All right, so mm -hmm. you all you all sort of gather around this shooting this shooting tennis this tennis machine. You're about to <laughs> at me for not being a nerd. <laughs> I don't know um, what it is. I never played. <laughs> a, a shooting tennis machine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I just want to walk through, I, I would love each of you to tell me about uh, one of your montage moments that was personal growth and one of your montage moments where you found out that uh, you had to work, you had, you had work to be done. I want to know, I want to know about the, uh, the, a thing that you found out that you excelled at and you failed at. So I'm seeing this training montage, who's standing in front of it first, who's going up to bat. And I guess up to bat, I mean, literally in front of this tennis ball machine well i have to set it up to go no 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 no. i have to set it up ken is terrified he's not going first i have to <laughs> i have to make sure this uh, the machine is running correctly okay so one of you stand there we'll aim it we'll aim it at you and you, we can try it out Almo. kaya kind of pushes them <laughs> forward it's fine first. they only go up to like 110 miles per hour. It's really not too too much of an issue. How do you want how do you want us to determine this? If we're good at yeah. are we rolling for it or if we're good at this or bad at this or are we like Yeah, we can we can ex we can we can here. Here's what here's I'll walk you through it. And then we'll we'll use you as the as the blueprint. So, Omo, you stroll up, you know, Kent points you to where you need to be standing and then Kent flips the switch and just immediately like whoom, whoom, whoom. Boom. these tennis balls just start shooting at you. I, I imagine Kent is there like aiming at like a little kid game, okay. um, just as these, <laughs> but these tennis balls are like hurtling at you. Um, so what is, what What do we see as Omo's first like reaction to this? How, if, if you know, is, is if, are we gonna summon a power? Are we gonna realize that there's no power that's gonna stop you from being hit repeatedly by a tennis ball? Yeah, I think if, if uh, he gets pushed into in front of a machine shooting tennis balls, <laughs> uh, yeah. being a, a barbarian, I think he would just like react very quickly. And I almost see him like not swatting them away, but like catching them and crushing them in his hands. So too fast? Going off <laughs> and just like crushing like the rubber. <laughs> okay, so um, go ahead and give me a dexterity roll and a strength roll. Cause it sounds like the individual things, the catching of the, of the tennis ball and then the crushing it in your bare hand, both of which I'm pretty interested in. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. I am, what do I have to strength? I have a plus three to strength. Okay. 
All right. First roll of the evening. Ooh. Okay, wait. So which is which is which? Uh it sh- this is a D10 D20. It should be the D20. The D20 plus 3. Plus 3? Plus okay. Three, 16. So a 16 on the dexterity saving throw. I think you're oh, able wait, to catch it. Oh, it's a Oh, uh, no, it's a no, it's a it's a straight dexterity check. I always forget that those things are different. Whoops, I'm still a dungeon master. Oh, if it's if it's dex then it's it's just zero. It's zero. Okay, so you got a 13? 13. Okay, all right. So I think you're catching pretty decently, and then go ahead and give me a strength and athletics check as well to crush them in your bare hands. Athletics. Oh, a 19. 19. Okay, I love this. All right, so go ahead. All right, so you, yes, you managed to grab them. You're crushing them each in your hand as you go. And I think you like managed to even hit a rhythm with it. But as this, I'm going to go ahead and say that you may now take a plus one going forward to your athletic checks until we check in here again as you get into a roll. So after you start getting into this rhythm, as, as everyone starts seeing just I want to. I want it to sort of like because we're watching Omo just like catch these tennis balls one another, just crush them in his bare hands. Casted hand included? Question mark? Question mark? Oh, no, I don't think so. It would just be the. Yeah, it would just be. That's very powerful. That might be why the dexterity is a little bit lower. Yeah. Mm, Um, Because he's just one handed. Right. Interesting. He's like swatting and catching. Yeah. So so we're watching this happen. And then like the camera like slowly pans around to Kaya, uh, Omo and nope, Kaya, Kent and Bayou. How how are you feeling as you watch this 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 very impressive feat for a person you've grown up knowing? Do you know what's crazy? There's nothing magical that's happening. I just think Omo <laughs> could do this. I just think he like he's, I think he's just like good at reactions. He's like, just honestly, really has which really is good. That's reactions. good. Those things are like that's 110 miles per hour. That's crazy. <laughs> honestly, I don't know what. Did you say 110 fucking? Miles yeah, I said it goes up to 110. It's it's very dangerous. <laughs> are you in? But look at him! Look at him out there! Wow! Yeah, but you didn't know he'd be able to catch that. <laughs> well, I d- he, he cranked up to it. Why didn't you just throw him? What? We, we, sh- what? You, but you said you cranked up to it, so it has no, different it, speeds. Well, it's okay. So it, it's it's a regular. It's a gasoline motor. It's not an electric motor. Put rocks it's a gas motor. Motor. <laughs> uh, How many tennis balls do you have in that? Because he's like destroying them. Yeah. We're oh, we'll be fine. These. You know, oh, it just takes on. one to catch him in the eye, and then he's dead, right? Oh, I'll go turn it off. Fine. Maybe his All eye right. is strong. <laughs> The 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 tennis the tennis machine is flipped off. Ooh. My God. This cool calm then rushes over your body, uh, Omo, as you leave your rage. There's like 25 crushed tennis balls <laughs> on your feet. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like a a, a bird's nest uh, that hatched. Like all the little <laughs> like shells are all around. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. And I think he feels a little embarrassed, but it felt really good to do like in that moment. Um, and I think sometimes you just yeah. want to destroy something beautiful. <laughs> Who's next? Yeah. I won't put it up as high. I don't know. Kaya, why don't you try shooting one of them out of the sky? We'll, we'll, we'll treat it like. One of those, uh, do I have to be standing in front of the skeet. machine? No, no, we'll do it like a skeet machine. No, we, you didn't have to be standing in front of it. O- Omo just happened to do it that way. He just um, happened to do it when you turned it on. Yeah, well, no, we turned it on and someone pushed him. I didn't even push him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so you angle it. Uh, I angle it just sort of like up in the air, like as like, it tilted. It's like, all right, uh, tell me when. Uh, when? And oh! girl. 
What do I need to roll? Um, just... Tell me how Kaya's handling this. Is she trying to summon forth magic? Is she, you know, what, what, what do you, how, how does she go about this? Can you tell um, us? I think that, so she starts off like she's trying to summon magic and it's not quite working out that well. But I think at some point the machine starts to act up and it starts turning closer to her <laughs> and she starts to freak out in panic. And she, you see her just basically f- freeze and all of a sudden a ball starts coming at her and you see her just kind of blur in place and it just passes straight through her and she casts blur on herself. What? Oh my God. And as the balls keep shooting at her, she's just kind of just like shifting she's in this haze. blur motion. She's around the tennis coat. That's so cool. cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, just give me an arcana roll to show me how well Kaya's able to control how she's and where she's moving. Ooh, 24. A 24. Okay, with above a 20, I'm going to go ahead and say your con is a one right now. I'm going to say go ahead and add two to that ongoing until we visit each other again for your next training session. Um, Because you got above a 20. I think you deserve it. At two tomorrow, con I roll? Yes. Sweet. So that's instead of a plus one, that is a plus three. Nice. All right. by you and Kent, you two are standing next to each other as you watch uh, Kaya f- shimmer across the field. You know, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Sorry, this part got loose. I got it. Okay. Uh, By you, I promise it won't move on you. You want to go next? No, I absolutely don't want to go next. Why would I want to go next? Okay. Well, I'll go next then at this point. You know what? Good idea. So you, you got it? You're running the machine? You'll just point it up and I'll try and shoot something out of the air? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. And I go uh, and I stand at the machine ready uh, to aim at something in the air. Um, <laughs> are, you, are you doing what I think you're doing? No, Vayu does. No, 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 please, please, please. No, 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 I really, I really, yeah. really like, go for it. But like, not please. Like, to, like, I think Vayu starts at a 90 degree and no. then steadily. <laughs> Slowly, does they start Level getting closer? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So I do want to know. So, all right. So Kent, the Looking. first shot does go out, go forward. So. Ah, uh, uh, I, I don't know how it happens yet. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get it. And, <laughs> it just goes <laughs> wide. You watch it sail. You hear that whistle sound, and then the sound glass breaking, and then yeah. some dogs yeah. barking as it sails oh, into we really some boring yard. Over the, I will, the other way. Yeah. yeah. I I will also say that Bayou oh. is completely um, distracted by this because they were kind of like. Kaya didn't even go because Bayou has blind fighting and thus cannot see the effect of her blur spell. You only, or they only see Kaya as regular Kaya. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. yeah, a character that does that has blind sight does not uh, is not affected by the blur spell. Very cool. Oh, oh. I see. The ball's yeah. Not so in Bayou, her, yeah, yeah, and Bayou was just kind of like, well, I guess we could just walk away from this if that's. <laughs> I like the I have nothing uh, hit her. I like the idea of also we're uh, like the estate is on the edge of a cliff overlooking the rest of Jenkins. So when these mists they go off into town, yeah, right. Like, right, right, like the Taco Bell's in danger. Like yeah, it's right. so yeah. it's a dangerous game. Like um, I think I think Bayou's calling out the wrong angles for these two, <laughs> just so that uh, yeah. not so that it hits Kent, but so that Kent misses and looks silly. Uh, ah, and, and he. I don't think Kent even gets the magic out. He's like. Ah! <laughs> Activate! <laughs> Go! Oh, wow. And it's like nothing's happening and it just gets lower and lower and like, uh, uh, Bayou, you might want to adjust it. I just, I'm it trying out. to tighten ah! it. I don't... Ah! It's getting kind of close. Ah! So, Bayou, what are you doing? Ah! Uh, Bayou, no! And it's like one starts going like straight for his head. It's and too sophisticated, Roll that arcana check for me. Okay. I this like the thing... Whether or not I use Now You See Me. That yeah. Kent has a superhero suit <laughs> probably, like he just probably in case, has more like than just in case, just like like yeah, it was a Halloween gag, but also like he paid someone a lot of money on Etsy yeah. for it. Like yeah, my mom, uh, like my mom when I was like super young, made me a superhero cape with a KM on the back. It's like one of my cherished items, but I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Is, 
<laughs> he made it himself. It's a. I, I don't know. My mother this made it to encourage me to be the own hero of my life. It's wow. perfectly valid. That's great, well, man. Parent. Oh God, now I know why your self esteem is so much higher than mine. Stay <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <very> <laughs> <high> <laughs> <laughs> like now I can believe it, it all no, makes it. sense. Yeah, honestly, like every time I with... talk to Katie May, I'm like, wow, she really can do anything. And I don't know why that is. <laughs> why she is well adjusted. Grew it's up incredible. with a superhero cape. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and, well, I am loving parents yeah. or whatever. Loving, I mean, that's what we're really making fun <laughs> yeah, of. Right? I know, that's I all know. we're really, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. I remember when we roasted my bedroom. Anyway, like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I felt good about that. Oh, yeah, and you should, frankly. No. I was we like, wow, these stickers must have been so expensive. This is oh, incredible. God. There's not three other people living in this room. It's amazing. Uh, so when the uh, uh, what'd you get? You got a 16? I got a 16. All right, tell uh, me what it looks like. I, as the tennis ball begins getting closer and shooting at uh, Kent's head, um, he's going to activate his ability. Now you see me. Um, and at first level, you gain the ability to appear where you are needed most uh, in the heat of battle. As a bonus action, basically you cast the blink spell without any necessary spell components. So basically I just like, literally I like, like Nightcrawler Banff next to Bayou on the machine without even realizing like, ah! No. Yeah, Bayou's just like, fuck. Oh, oh. Can I turn this off or? Did you want to go back over there and give it another shot or? No, you turn it off. You mm, and like I like do the shit. You like readjust the the. I think because Bayou saw Kent tighten the thing that was making it like shift in the first place. Well, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh huh. Mm, it's probably like bet. missing I a bet. gear. All right, all right. Your oh, yeah, turn, the, the gear is just straight up missing now. Yeah. yeah it's oh, just, cool, cool. God, it, that's weird. Pockets, pockets. Pockets, I know, come on. I literally just had Bayou it. Bayou is you... also gonna walk away. All right, all right, you're gonna walk. Well, it's your turn next, bud. Come on. All right, as Bayou steps up to the plate, I do also want you to know I that you that. you said the words, <laughs> now you see me. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, man, that sounds like a really cool ability. I wonder who wrote that. <laughs> genuine thought. Oh my God. Oh, okay. God. Hey. That was me. Oh, May we wrote it. <laughs> man, whoever wrote that? Great minds think alike. Oh, great man. Mind. What were we thinking of? If you want to see Kent's subclass, you can go to kmthedm.com to check it out. You would know. You would learn so much. To learn about the iron. So prints. tell me, Bayou, <laughs> what does Bayou stepping up to the plate look like? God, I think Bayou's like really just like standing there because I don't think that Bayou, first of all, has anything they can do, um, <laughs> which is hilarious. They're gonna get the shit kicked out of them by some tennis balls. Um, I think everything that that like Bayou is like really good at is very like passive stuff. Mm -hmm. And so like Bayou is like hanging out and it's kind of like gets that tinge of like, mm, I fucked around and I'm about to find out, huh? Is yeah. All right. Do you <laughs> don't like, a, like this. A, like a danger sense? Are you like going Neo in the Matrix as they just like, <laughs> like, like going past you? Uh, is the Is the tennis ball a demon? <laughs> <laughs> well rich people are so well, rich people, yeah. you if you want your favorite enemy to be rich people i would let you take that decision yeah. moving forward but no no i think i think what what happens with uh by is they just kind of try to move out of the way <laughs> okay let's see how that goes for them Ooh, yikes yeah give me give me um an acrobatics if you'd like um, or just like a straight deck saving throw if you feel in your heart that that would work better because um, you're in dire straits. I am in dire straits. Yeah. I got nothing in acrobatics, mm -hmm. nothing in athletics. Did you say yep. acrobatics to dodge? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'll do that. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll do a public roll. Fuck it. Show me, please. We deserve to know. Seven. Oh my god. Good. Okay. Yeah. So you have, you have inspiration. You could you could have yeah, rolled it with advantage. Why would I use inspiration when it doesn't matter? So you All can right, you take go ahead it from and take week. Six otherwise I'm gonna get damage. it by default. <laughs> I don't know. That's not how it works. Uh, that's not how it works. Damage? 
You take, yeah, you take six damage as you fair. begin being pelted by. Yeah, okay, I'll turn it off. I feel bad thunk, now. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Yeah, I think it's and it's definitely like by if by is anything like me when it came to sixth grade dodgeball, uh, it was like oh all this other team has do- like the balls and I'm like the only person left on my team. I'm just gonna turn around and let death take me. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! I think after the and like, first like as soon as they start like hitting by you by, it's like oh no. And then, like, turns around and is just like, I'll just wait for it to be over. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so now, as we panned earlier before, I want to now pan to uh, Kent, Omo, and Kaya as they all watch by you start being pelted by these oh tennis God. balls. No, it's crazy. I think if they, if they took two steps to the left, two, two, that's what I was thinking that too. Really, like, re- it's like just it. It's like they became a turtle. <laughs> it's like, maybe that's a power. Maybe that's, like type of, maybe that's no, some type of thing. It's not. They don't like it. As soon it, as Kaya they... sees like the first ball hit her or hit them and just like notice that. Uh, that uh, uh, yeah. Kaya just like, oh, not gonna just uh, she, uh, she'll try and like, uh, she'll start running towards her and trying to like reach out and try to block the things. And she's going to cast Mage Hand <laughs> and just like a spectral hand oh. to try to block these balls from hitting. I don't, I don't really <laughs> buy you. imagine. I'm not 100% sure why we're doing this. <laughs> Just like, you oh, can't no. like, try to dodge. Oh, new power discovered for for Kaya there, at least. It's all Kaya. coming up Kaya, isn't it? Fate yes. hand. I got lots of magic. There you go. And Sis Bayou's lies. here. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, the, the, the tennis machine halts as this silence settles over, uh, as Bayou is standing there like a welt forming on their back. Wow, I feel like we learned a lot today, guys. You okay? Yeah, you all right? Do you, do yeah. you, want, do you want an ice pack? <laughs> no, I think I'm good, Vanderbilt. I think I'm you good. Sure? What an ice cream sandwich. You want a Gatorade? And like, I go into like <laughs> some big freezer, outside freezer thing. It's yeah, just like all of those right. of Gatorades. Yeah. The like, idea that like, Omo is so nonchalant about like reaching into <laughs> other people's <laughs> stuff and taking it. But honestly, like Bayou kind of like looks at it and it's like, you do want a Vanderbilt's Gatorade. Light blue or dark blue? blue. <laughs> Light blue, canon. obviously, Frost. What's canon? That we know that like uh, sure. <laughs> Omo would know where stuff was in Kent's backyard, yeah. or like oh, yeah. where the drinks were yeah. and things like that. Yeah, I, for- I, I I would almost go to say that that the Vanderbilt estate was maybe Omo's first investigation grounds. Yeah, I'd right. Because so. you you would go hang out with with Vanderbilt all the time, and you know your house doesn't have that many mysteries, but the Vanderbilt estate. I think, you know, you were like, there's at least one secret passageway in here and I'm going to find it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it would be. <laughs> yeah. Like Ken would just wake up in the middle of the night during like sleepovers and like all like a shelf of books would just be all down because <laughs> like, I had just <laughs> been oh, trying no. to find it. Like, find oh, well, there's the no one. secret bookcase. I promise you. There's that's no what secret. The, that's what your parents are telling, telling <laughs> us. Um, but but the, OK, hear me out. Hear me Which out. Which of you has the head guard? <laughs> <laughs> both, both, <laughs> both, both. <laughs> okay. oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so actually, Carlos, you can go ahead and write on your character sheet that you are going to have advantage in all Vanderbilt estate investigations. Oh, okay, cool. Um, just so, actually, write advantage. I think advantage is how that should work in Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so just know that going forward. All um, Vanderbilt investigations in general or just Vanderbilt in estate, estate investigations. Um, I'll specify that very clearly. Um, so yeah, and we're back, you know, the, the this drinking Gatorade in the tennis court. I mean, it worked. Like we discovered new things that we can do. Well, I don't know. Well, I guess, yeah. yeah that's true. Oh man. I didn't know I could teleport. Let me try and do it again. No, I'll get the hang of it. It's fine. We can practice. We'll get it. Whew. Is that a fart? No, that was that was a that was a sigh. That was okay. that was a sigh. Bayou just like holds the Gatorade up to the side of their head. <laughs> <laughs> But what if our powers are like not 
stuff that doesn't pertain to balls coming at us. <laughs> not not so much like battle related. You're saying, or I mean, I don't know, man. When I yeah. think when I think of like battles, I don't think of balls coming at me. Sure. Right. You think of you think of the. Bullets. Knights and oh, well, oh right that type of battle yeah wait what we're not we're not getting shot at I'm just no. gonna put that out on the table right now I just mean there's a lot about of different like there's a lot of ground to cover on this stuff right. right like if we just think of every single superhero out there like that could be one of us right now yeah right so here. which one of you tries jumping off the roof wait oh, why. <laughs> Why would that it tucks be it away this? for later? It's like, man, I'll probably listen. Why would it be? Okay. I don't know. Got a bunch of weird stuff going on right now. Like, I didn't know I can crush tennis balls. I crushed okay. my Gatorade. <laughs> okay, this isn't as. This definitely isn't. It was. It was. I mean, well, yeah, any yeah, person yeah. can really do this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, go go crush a, a full one. Oh, okay. I will. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> like, I, I you open up the giant too. fridge of. It was just like crushing in my hand. Okay, now, it's, now it seems like. A... Guys, no, guys, let's not waste. Let's not be yeah, wasteful, man. all right? Can all you right, crush man. the fridge? Or are you going to try to crush the fridge? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Try to pick it up. You, you got to be respectful of the band of Try to pick it up. Shut up. You got hit by a bunch of balls. What are you trying to do? You trying to go me into doing stuff? I don't know, man. It just seemed good. <laughs> <laughs> got all these like egg welts all over you. Why he was like pick still it up. laughing because it's Omo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only because it's Omo. Uh, <laughs> okay, but we know, we know that Bayou can talk to animals. because That's true. We saw talked. that. Do yeah, I try doing that again. It really like, came in handy in the court. Yeah, yeah, try it again. What the yeah? fuck? What if you tried to talk to an ant? And like, oh, is there yeah. a limitation to like the intelligence of the creature that you're trying Ooh, to talk to? Man, I clever. don't know. She means like starts thinking in the dirt. And yeah, you yeah. you look around, you gaze around. Here are your three options. There's a worm on the ground. <laughs> there is a hmm there's a worm on the ground there is a spider curled up next to one of the lanterns oh. that light this court and there seems to be some kind of raccoon near the garbage uh i'm not going near the raccoon because they they are a little bit too smart um worms are a little bit too dumb how about the spider does the spider look poison oh it's poisonous roll a nature check oh god <laughs> uh Worm check. Twelve. <laughs> it's a spider check. Worm right? check. Spider it's a spider check. check. Spider check. Spider check. Twelve. You're pretty sure this isn't poisonous. That's good. Mm, I'm gonna get like uh, uh I'm gonna t pick up a stick and just try to get the spider on there and just <laughs> hold it for the bayou and just okay, like careful, careful, uh, gentle. Talk to it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna discriminate against the spider, but I don't know if I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, DM, that. this is up to you because it is uh, it is reliant on intelligence. So that's really up to you. Yeah, I just yeah, yeah. I have I'll very few spider. spell slots, and I don't want to waste them over a spider bit. Um, <laughs> I don't know why my brain was like, yeah, let me look, and I just googled spider intelligence. <laughs> 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 what I should have done as the answer there. Um, what is a spider? Oh boy! Oh, wow. yeah. What are, what are we drawing for their intelligent on? hunting behavior. Like, you know, I think they're smart little boys. Smart. I think Some they're spiders smart little are boys. really big too. Yeah. Yeah. Size, yeah like, what place. kind of spider did we say this was? Like an this orb is... weaver. Mm hmm. I said yeah, that. Yeah, weaver. that was it. Yeah. Sure. We've all. It, it, we've it all wasn't said, a daddy long leg. We all can identify <laughs> the standard orb weaver. The weaver. Uh, <laughs> the orb weaver. Yeah. Kaya Google's Orb Weaver on her phone. <laughs> yes. do, do, you, do, you, do you attempt to speak to the spider? If so, what is your opening line? Um, hey, buddy. Hawk, who comes to disturb my rightful peace? <laughs> oh! <laughs> who dares? Uh, yeah, Bayou like, looks at the rest of them and is like, I could kind of just say anything and y'all would not know if I was talking to the spider, huh? I mean, you make squirrel sounds when you're talking to. Yeah. But I don't want to make Shakespeare spider sounds. 
Ooh, how do you know the spider talks like Shakespeare? I What's don't that vibe like? I don't. I just tell him, uh, forsooth, it is good to see thee. Oh, that sounds geez. right, right? I, I don't know. Don't don't look at me again. <laughs> Sorry, it was a while since we since we read King Lear. I know, I know. Ask okay. it, ask uh-huh. it to to like jump off of the stick and like then like um you know put the line down and just dangle there. Hey, see if spi- you can- a, sp- a spider. Um, pretty, the I I speak to me. In fair measure. Uh, do you have a Do you have a preferred name or? Ah, oh, respectable manners. I'm Fortsworth. Okay, Fortsworth, um, guardian of this here lantern. Oh, of the of the lantern. Which one? Yes, this is my hunting ground. Yes. Oh yes. Um, what would <laughs> it take for you to sneak into his bed tonight and bite him? And now I know they're talking Park, about one? me because they're pointing they at point that it. one. Yeah, they I was thinking of something. They were yeah, 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 yeah. they pointed they're now. Pointing. And 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 Bayou's doing the whole yeah what thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. What yeah. would you to like you know just like bite them? Are you poisonous? You Are you venomous? A, you ask me on a quest. Absolutely. I am honor bound to accept one. If you are in dire need, are you in dire need? the most dire. Then I will see it done, as some great spider long ago did a favor unto me, and asked that I and I alone pay it forward. This is how. I only ask that you pay it forward one day. Bayou, come uh, over here. Talk to this worm. Bio. Bayou, I'm just, just like, like He's going on. <laughs> he's going on and on about it. Yeah. Like, oh, yes, you. Like, I just keep trying a... to distract Bayou. Yeah. Check out this worm. Yeah, uh, Bayou gets like an immediate, and I think that honestly, I think that speak with animals gets like the same. Like you know, when you grow up in a bilingual household, <laughs> it's like hard to distinguish which words you're saying. I think that Bayou like looks up at. His, and almost for a second and speaks in spider for a second. What does spider like, sound like? What, what do you want? Uh, probably sounds like. Oh, that's nasty. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, just be like, uh, like never mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like you're having fun. Try, being... to, pu- try to push the, the, the and earthworm like, back and into like the ground. And like Bayou is like doing this to make mandibles. <laughs> 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 you just see them, they're like wide eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <sighs> All right. If that the spider was... dies, Bayou's gonna have so much guilt. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> Bayou would if they thought that far ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's true. All right. I think that um, spiders are gonna try and bite me. Nah, man. Spiders are cool, especially um, this one. Okay. He seems yeah, like, a, felt like, like a spider's making eye contact. Honorable chap. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never felt the gaze of eight eyes on me before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, planning. Uh, yeah. Um, this was great and all. It's good for for getting our magic and figuring stuff out. Um, I also want to know what's the deal with Portia and what is going on with these serums. You know, like wh- why I didn't get my magic from a serum. You didn't get a magic from a serum. Like we we didn't. You didn't get your strength from a serum. But How we were that- within the vicinity of that place. What if it? What if you don't have to imbibe it? What do you just have to? I mean, imagine if we had drank it, like we would become like that giant dire cow. Oh, yeah, that... but I don't know if just being like, I don't know, just if just being like in the vicinity was enough to give you that sort of sensation, then why are they like so desperate to drink more of it? <sighs> and why aren't we craving it? Maybe we have to be exposed more to it. Hmm. I know Portia's evil. That's all I know. That's that, that. I feel like we can agree on that. And What's, she's magic. Well, yeah. I mean, how do we know she's evil? She could just be like, she, uh, she, she could just have opposed ventures to us, you know? Yeah, but she attacked us. So at least from our end, Did she's she? evil. She, she, yeah, she. She lied to us, knocked well, us all unconscious, and then lots tried. Lots of people lied to us, but for some reason we still hang out with them. 
I don't. But okay, barb, barbs aside, we really, it, like, I'm telling you, Portia's bad news. I should warn my mother about it. Honestly, I'm very concerned mm. about her, Ooh. and since she's working at the new era right now. Well, I'm sure my mom can take care of herself. I don't, I don't know if my mom could handle the, the news about magic. That's actually a good point. Uh, but maybe just to watch out about Portia, maybe? I don't know. It seems scary, at the very least, um, to have someone... We're figuring out magic. This person can control it. I don't know if their ability to control magic makes them an enemy, though. I, I think it makes them stronger than us. And if we are to encounter our paths again, how would we stop them from once again knocking us unconscious and uh, trying to wipe our memories? All right, but we don't know whether or not she did that to protect us or to get us out of the way. I feel like we're probably in way over our heads. I. Are you saying we're for the worse? I'm saying we're we right now. I'm for the better, but it wasn't because of her casting a spell. Well, we don't know that. We don't know, but that's exactly the thing, Bayou. There's well, so it, it much we don't know. To, it seems and, weird to cast her morality in black and white if we don't have any answers in absolutes anyway. We don't, but the only person who can give us any seems to be Portia. And, and that right, automatically makes her a villain? For the fact that she's gatekeeping the answers from us? Yes, oh. in my opinion, absolutely. Oh. Th there was something she didn't want us to know. For our benefit or for our worst, she didn't ask us if we uh, uh, like could erase our memories. She just did it. You know, and I don't what? think that's I okay. Think that you're upset that there's something that you can't have. I think someone finally told you no, and it chased your ass. Okay, first off, I get told no to a lot. All right, a lot of people tell me no. Do you know how many times I ask people to come hang out and they say no? And I handle it fine. All That's right, I'm the cool with it. That's the thing I've ever heard. The issue is that someone didn't even, I, uh, no one asked anything. They just did it. And maybe I'm supposed to stay in the car anyway? Yes. Question, why did she bother having us give her the tour and want us to go to the school? Ooh. And then get mad when we actually went inside. Good like, question. If she was just like, if she knew it was in there and she knew how dangerous it was, why would she have a bunch of high school students escort her there? I don't know. Got me there. Well, I think we can, at the very least, try and figure out some stuff at the new era. Maybe try and see if they're getting any interns or something so we some we could tail her in some capacity and try and see if she makes it back to the high school should we go back there is there anything of, do you think we'd gain anything going there on our own it'd be worth a try but probably not tonight no 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 omo do you know anything you're good at digging up info omo uh in any other time in almost life, this would be the conversation he has <laughs> dreamed about. Uh, more than one friend in an area talking about conspiracies. Uh, Goes all the way to the top. But all he's doing is staring at this cereal box that he took from <laughs> from like uh, the Vanderbilt place because he's trying to figure out his power and he knows it has something to do with cereal uh, because <laughs> the Lucky Charms guy popped out uh, <laughs> and like so he's just like staring and as soon as he hears his name he's just like you guys think it's do you guys think it's lame that my power is crushing tennis balls and something to do with cereal and he like shakes the cereal like <laughs> i think bayou like takes the gatorade away from like the enormous goose egg on their forehead and it's just like no omo nobody thinks your powers are lame but it's like you guys had like really cool powers and i feel like i man front and center on this power thing for a very long time like i knew something I knew something was going on over here and like got some cool stuff going on. The blurry thing, 
God, I'd kill for that. Talking to spiders? Yeah, that's what I oh, want. Oh, Jesus. But, but and he's just like looking at the cereal box. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> oh, well, you were the only one who actually really hurt that cow creature. Yeah, didn't you kill it? Yeah. I killed it. Yeah. It's That's cool. Up. It's cool that we can do this stuff, but I think everyone has a role to play, especially in this new uh, land of magic that Jenkins is becoming. I really feel like it's going to be like I really, I, I still think, uh, I, like, I want to get that sword back. I really feel like I'm, I'm like <laughs> King Arthur kind of stuff, and like you know, there's going to be other people at the table, and some knights are better at other things than other people. All in all, you still will bow to the, your true king, and uh, are you will go inside? to protect are you the, the realm. King? Are you the king in in this scenario? Yeah, I pulled the sword off the roof. That I makes me king. Shuck this cereal! <laughs> like, like all of the tennis court. Are you fucking kidding me, Vanderbilt? Right now? Are you kidding yeah. me right now? You I think you like would be Kaya king? could be king, honestly. No! I don't Come want to be king of anything. No, I am good. No. I'm good. That, that's that, what would make you so good at it. Kaya, yeah, you, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. No, yeah, that makes so you bad at it. Someone who wants to be king should be king. No. Because they want it. it. None of that no. stuff really works. It's what? the person who doesn't want to be king. That's what? the that that's makes the king. no sense. That's it. See, yeah. I want start, power. Give me power. I don't understand. At already being a hero, there has to be a journey it's got to be a, a three-point art there's got to be rising action climax god falling i wish action, i said i didn't a, want to be potential king potential denouement do you know you, you know what the perception arc? check for me please all of us oh I'm just can't just can't oh, okay okay i saw that in the rule 20 chat and i was like can i keep this train rolling <laughs> <laughs> oh, to avoid the right off the see, I got an eight so I don't know if you need right. to help me at no, all no keep going no no see the thing is like when you want power you should get it right like I don't understand no, why someone who doesn't, doesn't want power see, that doesn't make any is, sense see no, look, no, what do you mean? and y'all thought I was the asshole it all comes back no. if you wanted well, something I mean, somebody told us we couldn't have it exclusive. like oh, yeah. you know, just like <laughs> hold on <laughs> All right, I'm just saying that he wanted something. Somebody told him he couldn't have it, and now he's obsessed with it. I what I want is information, and someone tell me I can't have information. Wait, 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 that wait, obsessed me. Oh, oh, Bayou, don't I you like, have? I don't like surprised cool that you don't want to know on. anything, got Bayou. I like Aren't you thing. all curious at all? No, like of course I'm cool. curious. I just don't want to do this if the only person it serves is this fucking asshole. Well, I don't think he's the only one. I mean, I mean, at least you'd get answers as to why you can talk to animals. I like to think that, like, the camera pulls back all the way to Fort Worth's, like, position. Like, it's just like, foul beast, I will destroy you. <laughs> like, like, he's got, like, two rapier, rapiers and then it goes in his back and then he just, like, scurries out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> like that's his own side quest going on during yeah, our entire time. Right. <laughs> Whether or not, okay, we 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 can decide who's king and who's not king later. It's me. Why do we um, need a but king? All I'm saying is God, we're about to king, enter a new say. realm. All right, with magic and opportunity, and and who knows? Maybe it's here now, right? Like it's already happening. I. There might be more of those canisters about. Someone's leaving them around, and that's bad news, right? Think about think about if more monsters are made, more things pop out. What what if more people get powers and they don't know how to handle it, right? Like that's that's not good. Oh yeah, they need guidance from us, the people who definitely know how to handle it. No, but they, like like in the X Men, they have like the the like a team to help figure it out together. I'm saying I, I don't have time to go into how the X Men exploits team labor in order to save the world. Hey, these this could situations, but this could be the new. Xavier Mansion. Think about the Vanderbilt oh, no. Estate. Come on. 
First of <laughs> all, we all know Magneto was right. And as that happens, you hear uh, Kent, <laughs> the, the, this noise, you were so used to it, years of hearing it. Um, it is hard for anyone else to hear it but you because it's a little far away because we're talking football fields but it's the unmistakable opening of the French doors that lead into your house opening in the backyard and just that feeling brings you back to all the summers of one of your parents opening the back and looking for where their son is oh uh, guys uh, we should go um, greet my parents Uh, they'd be looking for us come on um, All right. Uh, I put like what, Omo, what you say? Omo like pulls out a wet nap, um, and like starts like cleaning his hands, and then pulls out like two other wet naps and like hands it to uh, Kaya and uh, Bayou. It's like Kaya has been digging in the dirt. You guys are gonna want to wash your hands for this. Uh, am I, Do I have to like, touch her? No, no. Come on. I won't have my mom say my friends were rude guests. Let's you're, just, it's just a quick introduction. Just say hi. It, you got say a fifty. Hi. You got a fifty-fifty on the hands. It's gonna be a thing. Just try to keep them out of eyesight, uh, and 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 really work on prepositional phrases. Like really, like think really hard before you say anything like that. Okay. It, every, everything's gonna be fine. Marching slowly behind Kent. Uh, I think Bayou's bringing up the rear. Positional phrases. Wait, are every sentence I say a fresh? Wait, what are not <laughs> prepositional phrases? So, so with prepositional <laughs> phrases, you don't want to end a sentence learn? with a preposition. Pre- 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 you don't. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to do that. Yeah. Okay. So like, yeah, yeah. I was just making up. A weird thing. Yeah, I just, I just didn't want to. I, I gotta commit to the lore. It doesn't um, matter because if you have the fancy accent, anything you say is gonna sound right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then can I get perception checks from the three other players as uh, you all turn around and begin walking your way up the nice steps yeah. to the back of the house? I would also like to be looking for a quick exit before I have to actually speak to. Mom's 21. Comment. Ooh. Natural 20 Nat for, 20. for bio. Nice. Yeah. I think, I I'd think seen those tennis balls coming. 12, I think it's the, para, the paranoia of rich people. <laughs> uh, dear, dear uh, Omo and Bayou. But um, you, as you all turn around, you start heading up. You see that the French doors have been opened. And her mom, uh, sorry, Ken's mom, is standing there. She's elegantly sort of leaned against the the door frame one foot neatly tucked behind her um you can see that um i can if we're on the the um the locations page uh sweet carlos i do have the tokens of the two kenderbilt parents up here uh, um locations view where uh, the um, the location page notice locations view. The that's the that's locations what the page view. is called. Yeah, okay. and she's got that foot like neatly neatly tucked behind her ankle. She's in this um, beige pants suit with a bulkier jewelry look. Um, you can see that she's she's pulled her hair up into like a too nice like a, just a disgustingly like nice looking ponytail um, after her long day of work. That's she doesn't like change into nice clothes. She just puts her hair in a ponytail. Um, and she's sort of smiling as, as, as the four of you walk up, but Omo and Bayou, the window blind in the kitchen was closed before you guys came outside. And now it is completely open. And the kitchen is right on the inside, right next to the back door. And as the, th- as the four of you are walking up, you hear Kent's mom say, oh, so you've brought home some friends, Kent. Oh, yes, mom. I, I wanted to introduce you. You remember, uh, <laughs> as we call him, Omo. And uh, this is <laughs> Kaya Radini. And uh, nice this is you. Bayou Morrison. Um, we were just working on uh, some stuff for school. And um, uh, at that point, your mother looks over at Bayou and then looks back at you and goes, school? Yeah, I'm. well, I'm doing the play into the woods, you know, and uh, they need 
all sorts of help on it. So Bayou's helping get some additional goods for the stagehands and Kaya's doing quite a lot of, of work on, on the lights. And uh, you know how, how good Omo is with power tools and building sets. Of course. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, your father and I were making hot chocolate in the in the kitchen because we used to do that all the time. And we figured, you know, old old times saw you playing in the backyard. Might as well. Um, four, four hot chocolates? Yes, please. Um, what would Omo say? Yeah. Yes, I, I think he would have hot chocolate, yeah. Um, even if he doesn't want it, he, he, he has to take it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Okay, what about you, Bayou? Bayou. Just say yes. Sure, it sounds lovely. <laughs> so glad to hear it. Come on, come sit. And she leads you into this very large kitchen. There is one of those uh, long islands that has enough bar stools on one side to fit the four of you. And you see both of both of Kent's parents. Or do you want to take a moment to describe them? I don't want to describe your parents. Do you sure. want to tell me a bit about their dynamic? Well, I think it's it's um, at the very least like coming in. You see, you, we like follow my mom uh, walking into the space. Uh, Kent's mom and uh, going across this like marble island on the other side you see just the back of Kent's dad um, like working with the pot to boil it to get it ready uh, with the milk for the hot chocolate just to bring it up to temp Um, and I think their dynamic is that of true they're like true uh, partners and the idea that like like he hears or senses or like feels her presence before is like really there and like is kind of like his hands up waiting as soon as they like uh, for her to like come and like slide in and they're working on uh, the thing together um, and I think like that is what Kent Snow has always known them at is like they've been a unit always pushing for what's best for him right like the idea of like what's the best thing for kent what's the best option for kent um and uh have just been really strong proponents of that right Mm -hmm. so you all are led into this you know there's the white marble countertop with the like the golden rust stools and you Mm -hmm. all take a seat there's the placemats in front of you um and they're sort of they're doing the finishing touches and um Kent's dad smiles up at you, uh, Kai, and says, oh, Kai, I hear there's a congratulations in store. Uh, oh, uh, um, a valedictorian, great job. Thanks, thanks. She just uh, side-eyes Kent and just kind of like hides her face behind the cop. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you all been up to? This into the woods, is it going to be a good show or are your mother not going to enjoy it? Oh, of, of course, uh, if you all can make it, uh, you know, with your schedules and everything. But it's it's coming together very well, very well. Um, you know, tonight we even had a, a quite the smash of a rehearsal. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. Bayou, what have you been up to? I think um, you're muted. Oh, yeah. Bayou has not touched their hot chocolate, has just left it on the table, like left it on the cult coaster, left the little spoon on it, hasn't put any marshmallows in it or anything, left it completely, um, is sitting on the edge of the seat and like eyes trained on the clock. It's just like, Kaya, don't you have a 10 o'clock curfew? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Dad's probably waiting for me. We mm, should nine fifty four. You don't have much time. She gets up and just uh, downs the rest of the hot chocolate. And just uh, kind of straight, uh, really awkwardly bows to <laughs> his parents. Just like, uh, thank you so much for for the hospitality. Um, of course, Kai. It was our pleasure to have you. Uh, I guess I'll we'll see you guys at school. Thanks for the ride. Uh, uh, bye. Yeah, it's been great. See you all at rehearsal. 
Mm. Almost just like going back and forth like this, like not even paying attention. But yeah, and then yeah. Bayou and Kaya leave to take Omo's car to go. I think that, I'm a bolt. Well, it's more like Bayou, Bayou takes Kaya to the like where the car is. Yeah. But I don't want to leave scene. Okay, cool. All is right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're Bayou just can't be around the Vanderbilts. That's fair. Why? <laughs> Why do you fucking think? <laughs> They've been great. <laughs> and uh, um, Omo, as you're sipping your hot chocolate, uh, Kent's uh, mom looks over you and says, "I feel like I haven't seen you here in ages. What have you been up to? What are you doing? What are you? What are your post graduation plans?" Uh, I think so. I feel like. Omo has, um, what's the word? Like, what's a good way to describe it? Like, he doesn't, he doesn't fake well with people, but he fakes very well with the Vanderbilts. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't put on, like, it's almost like a fun thing for him. Uh, yeah. Like, to. Yeah, he's, like, undercover. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that would that would be the first time when he, wa when he uh, would start acting, I don't know, I guess a little normal. So he, he does seem, like, very relaxed or whatever. Um, but at the same time, he's just like, um, yeah, I've been really busy, uh, you know, working as well. Um, yes, you work. Incredible. Yeah, it's really Is it hard to juggle school and all of your extracurriculars and your job as well. Yeah, but it builds character, you know, and he's just saying things that like, like oh, they're Kent's, eating it up. Kent's uh, dad would love, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. I got to get up super early in the morning and he's just like everything he's saying right now is to dig on Kent. Uh, he's just like, <laughs> gotta get up real early in the morning. Like I'm up before the sun even comes up. You know, I gotta be serving people who are up early in the morning Morris. too. Yeah. Young man, uh, young men with initiative are a dime a dozen. So that's something that, you know, as you get older, you head into the real world. It's gonna be a real tool for you. Proud of the work you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. I mean, you gotta earn it, right? We can't just have everything handed to you. <laughs> of course not. That's what that's what my your your mother and I have always believed that every single dollar has to be hard earned. Absolutely. Are these mini marshmallows? Ooh, oh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your hands. <laughs> <Kent>. <laughs> I'm like yes. <laughs> um. Yeah, and so so you got it is this still coursers they're they're getting a lot of uh they're they and they they keep circling they are, they're keeping you here though as they, they they continue to interrogate you. Um and they're like, "Oh, and we we got a call that you had that you signed out on fifth period. What was up with that, Kent?" Oh. Actually, um Oh my, I think I should ask you to leave. Um, the, the, I want to talk to my parents in private about something. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Oh yeah, uh, no problem. Uh, okay. And, uh, well, Omo, at least like, give Omo the chance to finish his hot chocolate, dear. Oh, it's don't not, rush him out of the house. No, no, I'm so sorry. No, I'm so a, sorry. Have, That's so rude of me. I have me. Temper, temperamental uh, family members as well. It's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> I want you to have this, and I pull out. I, I pull out the cashmere uh, throw blanket, and it's just like that. <laughs> that like buy you back. I'm like, you know what? I didn't congratulate you on that award that you got in spring, and I've totally been. It, it slipped my mind, and I just you know. Think nothing of it. I gotta take off, and like oh I give her God. like the peck on the cheek. I'm like one side and the other side. I'd be like, you have to keep coming around. Oh God, I need you. Need to ha you need to come to our place. We need to have dinner. And oh, you know what? I got I gotta go. Kent, it was great seeing you. Uh, uh, and I'm like Benjamin, and I I shake his hand so <laughs> fucking come. hard. Uh, yeah, give me. Go ahead and like, um, let's just let's <laughs> go. Right. I saw a, yeah, a straight, uh, yeah, straight performance check on this handshake for me. Uh, Oh, performance? Uh, would, would you like to justify athletics? You could also do an athletics if you'd yeah. like to argue athletics want, on this handshake. I want to grip his hand. Okay, like, all right. Show me the numbers. Yeah, let's see this. Come on, come on, come on. Big money, big money. Big money, big money, big money, big money. 
Oh, hey, oh, dirty oh, twenty. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. It oh, is dirty an 20. impressive hand. It's 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 a handshake so impressive. You get the other hand to come around and clasp on your other one, and he <laughs> shakes it with both his hands. You know, it's that yes. powerful approval. Uh, uh, I could feel his heartbeat in my palm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he, says, he says, "Get home safe, young man." Oh, I will. Dirtiest uh, twenty. And I I just like head out. Uh, I head down the hall and they can kind of see me just like walk away. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to add one more thing as I'm walking down the hall, I want to fix one of their picture frames and then just like carry on <laughs> through. <laughs> I just want to be like. Yeah, you Ooh. fix it and then you, uh, uh, I think that Kent sees Marta kind of nudge Benjamin and, see and, go, and go, see, that's the initiative. And then that's <laughs> it wasn't even what crooked. A nice it, it wasn't even crooked. <laughs> uh, after after uh, Omo goes around the corner, um, yeah, about fifth period. Um, oh my gosh, you know, I Bradley is great. Bradley is fun. You know, I love Bradley, but I do think you got to keep bringing Omo around. He's by far your most interesting friend. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. He's he's wonderful. He he's great. He's eccentric. Yada yada yada. Um, <laughs> your your employee Portia, bad news. Portia Cole, yes. Bad news, mom. She she came by today. She asked me and and Kaya to give her a tour of the city and then we went on a tour and she took us to the high school and then she like knocked us out with like some sort of gas or like some Sorry, sort of the high school yes the old high school yes she took us on a tour and like the and, like, old high school yes Va yes valiant high just took us right over there and was like oh hey don't worry i'll be right back and then left us there she's bad news mom i don't know how you employed a I'm woman sorry like she this. left you at valiant high she left us there she got out of the car her and her man her valet took off. Jean-Luc? Yes, Jean-Luc. Okay, so, wait, I'm sorry, honey, you were stranded at Valiant High? We were stranded at Valiant High, and honestly, it was such a traumatic experience, I don't even remember what happened while we were out there. The next thing I know, I'm coming to, we're at the school, we're back. Uh, okay, let's walk through this. You say that Portia Cole. Portia, yes. Took you, stranded you at a high school, mm -hmm. and then you suddenly came to. I think, honestly, I think we passed out from the radiation poisoning being so close to Valiant High or something, but it, it I don't know. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check for me. Um, can I do deception instead? Mm -hmm. trying to I need a persuasion because I'm not looking to see if your parents, honestly, you can, it, you can do both if you would like to see oh, okay. how well you deceive them that you believe this to be the truth hmm. and how well you convince them that Portia Cole is no good. Okay. Let's do a persuasion check first. A persuasion of seven. Ooh. Seven. Deception of 24. 24. All right, okay. so your mother looks you over and she like gives your father just like a, a look that says, take care of this. And Benjamin sort of shakes his head tersely, turns your head back to you and says, kid, if you went and got high during fifth period and need to cover, that's fine but I don't understand why you would need to bring an associate that your mother and I just personally hired on our last trip out to Florida um, uh, into the business. Mom, dad, I, I swear, first off, you know, users are losers, okay? First and <laughs> foremost, all right? They're never gonna let me walk in on Stanford's water polo team if they test me and find out I'm a junk. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, but you are suddenly sitting here telling me that our uh, incredibly reputable hire, Portia Cole, has drugged you and left you in front of a radioactive high school. All I'm saying is that Principal Marfigo okayed it. Like she went to him and asked us out. I swear to you, I did not, sort of just play hooky. I was. I don't believe you played hooky. I know that Portia Cole was set out to get a tour of the town given by the valedictorian. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that the, the salutatorian was invited as well, but it's up to Lorne. And I'm, okay. But I swear we got out there and then it was 
I, I, the the radiation, the the something. That's what I'm most confer- concerned about, honey. Can you schedule an appointment for tomorrow morning to have someone look over Kent? That you got close to a radioactive high school. What were you thinking? I told You're her. You're thinking it, I want to suffer from radiation poisoning for no, the final weeks leading up to my graduation. I want to fail my finals and have my Stanford admissions rescinded. Let me go look inside a radioactive high school. Kent, this is this is irresponsible actions on your part, at least, and purposefully troublesome at best. You're right. I'm I'm sorry. I, I I will do better. I will strive to uh, make sure that um, an incident like this, where a lack of judgment is apparent, um, does not happen again. I want a doctor to come and check you out because, frankly, I'm not sure if you experienced going to a high school and then coming to you in a haze several hours later that's not indicating to me that you are safe you may have a rate you may have some sort of radiation poisoning so i want that checked out um do you need to stay home from school for the next few days no honestly and father the into the woods would collapse without me it really it really would collapse without me it needs me there and i i would be a disservice to all of my other students um uh, <laughs> Just watch out about Portia. I, I'm telling you, she doesn't seem... I, I worry about you all. I just want to keep you safe, and I don't know if her intentions are for the best for the Vanderbilts. You know what, honey? You're right. Portia Cole is a new hire, and the Vanderbilt name, above all, is where our allegiances lie. And she kind of leans forward a bit conspiratorially, and she says... Portia is heading up this emerging, emerging luminary initiative for the new era. And I truly don't know what her intentions are with it. I've, I've agreed it, I've green-lighted it, but I would love to have someone there in those meetings to know why she's hosting them. Um, Kaya and I can go. We can sort of be present and it would be valuable for one to have someone of worth and reputation and um, they're not gonna let Bradley or Omo into that space. You know what? I will personally write letters of recommendation for Bradley and Omo and even Bayou. I think all three of them could be brought back on track. What about, uh, do you don't think Kyle will need one? Or, go? you know, Kyle and I will be <laughs> no, fine. No, she'll yeah. be fine. We'll be fine, yeah. Um, well, anyways, uh, I just wanted to let you all know, and um, I'm sorry to have disappointed you all. Honey, it's it's you that we're worried about. You're We're not worried about you being a disappointment. We're worried about your health right now. And they mm-hmm. nod between each other and say, so we'll have a doctor check you out first thing in the morning. Okay. But rest is most important right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and get some rest. I, I, I swear to you, I feel like, you know, I've watched the movies with like the super bad and the the Project X and when they they smoke weed, they talk about memory loss. I, I didn't I don't remember even smoking to begin with. I don't think it occurred, but I don't know. It might have given what you with Bayou. Me. You were hanging out with Bayou, so you can't really be sure. Right. Oh, goodness. Uh, a doctor's check is is best. I think you're absolutely right. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, sweetie. Thank you for being so wise about this. Of course. Would it be wise not to listen to my parents? Get out of town. Good night, mom. Right. Good night, dad. Night, honey. Go get some rest. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I need to know, did Omo leave the house? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, heard, all right. he, heard, he heard it all. Like, he, yeah. he's, he's down the hall. He heard it all. Um. He felt really bad. Like, I think he felt really bad for Kent, like, in that moment. Like, ah, oh, shit. Like, I mean, that was a sweet burn that I had on him earlier. But, like, damn, I forgot how shitty his parents were, man. Like, this sucks. <laughs> like, oh. He deserves it. Um, also in his, also in Omo's, like, uh, like, when Kent asked, like, 
uh, well, what about Omo? What about Bayou? You know, uh, and they're like, oh, we'll write letters of recommendation for them or whatever. Um, <clears throat> they say it very casually, and I think be and I automatically thought like, oh yeah, I bet you they've written things for Omo before. Like Kent's parents love like almost work ethic or blah 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 and they're always like doing they were always doing things like that uh for him so he's always like god yeah i'm the son they never had uh <laughs> like that type of thing you know <laughs> like, right. i think i yeah. think that's how it through almost eyes that's how he kind of like sees it you know mm-hmm. just like oh god like use your power for good uh instead of like <laughs> getting you to do all these weird things with your why son. can't you be more like your brother <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think he's like down the hall, like waiting for Kent uh, to like walk walk out or come find us or something. Yeah, Kent, where are you going? I'm going to bed. I think everyone went home. All right, I just go <laughs> yeah. upstairs. I go yeah. to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Bayou, because Bayou has um, almost car. Bayou's just waiting for Omo in the in the parking lot, like waiting, or I guess not parking lot. It's probably the size of a parking lot, but it's your driveway. It's one of those. There's a fountain in the middle. It's the driveway. The cobble. There is. Yep. It's probably like marble statues of Benjamin and Marta, and none of Kent. <laughs> what, uh, Kent? What does your bedroom look like? Because uh, um, I'm gonna go get you. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a, that's a good start. Like you're like waiting, uh, like behind like a frame of the door, and I just like walk straight past you, go up the steps, and like you like pull open the door, and like you go set in. Um, and Kent's room is um, pretty it's circular bed. Circular, that's what I saw too in the middle of the room. He's got that's a circular bed right in the middle of the room. Um, but it's re it's really it's very neat. Odysseus. It's uh, mm. like it, like it's got a. Um, a desk where you see a lot of time is sort of spent a bookshelf with a couple of his favorite volumes um his uh, record player with a couple of his records and um like a guitar and like some instruments in the back um but the the circular bed in the middle is kind of the the big thing um and you see when he lays down on it um you like look up and in his room there is a moonlight just right above in the center um and so he just like kind of goes in uh, Alexa, shut the lights. And then the lights turn off. Good night, Kent Vanderbilt. Thank you, Alexa. Open moonlight. Opening moonlight. Shun, 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 shun. Play like the good night <laughs> playlist. Take me home. Uh, I want to uh, sneak, so, sneak up while he's like laying down. I want to sneak yeah. up behind him and like the round bed and be like, uh, I want to grab, like, sneak up behind and like grab his mouth and like cover oh his, my mouth God. Oh his my eyes God. and just be like, give me all your money, Vanderbilt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that's what I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kent, your worst fears. You are finally in your most vulnerable place. Yeah. And you're settling down. Your parents have just told you not to worry. But suddenly, facing your circular bed, a form comes up behind you, throws their hand over your mouth, says, Give me all your money. Give me all your money, Vanderbilt. I'm going to eat uh, your head. Uh. I... <laughs> I do not, you see me again. I immediately like teleport and like stand behind it. And like, as a reaction, like, and, like chop, like at the back of his head. Like, yeah. I'll make, I'll make it, I'll make an unarmed melee. Yeah. melee attack. yeah. Oh no, yeah. you, so you're suddenly holding on to air as you fall forward and Kent up, apparates right behind you. And let's see, can Kent execute the maneuver? <laughs> what do I, I roll a d20 roll. and I, what do I add to yeah, it? Yeah, uh, unarmed strength, uh, your strength? Okay, I got I got a thirteen plus zero. <clears throat> Great. Uh, what's yeah. your AC, Omo? Uh, twelve. Well, it hits. <laughs> and roll one d four damage plus your strength for me. You're about to get As... karate chopped by a man in a charcoal yeah, mask and a <laughs> uh, silk kimono. You are hit for three damage. I As earned can't... my wealth. I earned my wealth. <laughs> 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 oh, what the hell? Oh, shut up! Shut God. up! God, what's your problem? Oh, jeez, what are you? Do- what is your problem? Can no Who one is a man in his bed. No one is going- ever kidnapping you. Okay, it's. 
freaking joke, man. Wait, let's get out of here. But it's bedtime. What, the, what do you mean it's bedtime? What do you mean it's what bedtime? Mean, what do you mean get out of here? You, you should go home. It's bedtime. You should go take to bed. That, first of all, take the mask off. Uh, I can't talk to you with your stupid like, uh, uh, satin mask over your head. Oh, you God, look ridiculous. Okay. okay. All right. First off, we need to get out. Can I buy you downstairs? We're taking my car. This doesn't. This isn't over. What do you? But yeah, we're gonna get to it tomorrow after we get a good eight hours of rest and and come back to it uh, fully recovered. This ends when it's over, Vanderbilt. Okay. All right. This is a lot of energy. I, 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 <laughs> okay. I'm, I was. Okay. It's a lot of energy, and I'm a sleepy boy. <laughs> I was a sleepy boy. Also, I don't. What do you mean? You want me to sneak out of my my? I, look, I don't have a curfew or anything because I respect my parents' wishes. I've never. You also, might have radiation poisoning. I might have radiation poisoning. Okay. We we don't know what happened today, and I think it'd be a good call to get some rest. Um, I think you about look? now you hear like pebbles against the window. Stop it. <laughs> what are you, it's going to scratch. It's going to scratch the glass. Come on. There, there, is, a you mage, there is a spectral mage hand that kind of floats up and starts. A spectral mage hand it. slowly slides the window open. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Through the window, through the open window. <laughs> yeah, it caught like. It's yeah, kind of exactly. Like, he goes to like try to struggle. Like, ah, God. What? What is a man? Go home. <laughs> I love this Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> yes, oh, I mean, oh. Are we fucking doing this? We're fucking are doing you fucking what? Kidding me? We're fucking doing this shit. Doing uh, what? I wanna... You want me to leave my apartment? Leave my what, leave the estate? What do you have on the counter by by your window? I'm gonna toss it down the bayou. Uh, <laughs> like like whatever. It's it like yeah. my backpack with like all, all yeah. the stuff. I mean, you can't throw my stuff out the window. What the window. next? Why what are you gonna do? Go? Throw me out the window? Is no, that what you're gonna do I'm next? Throw him out I'm the fucking window. Grabbing his shoes. I'm gonna grab some of your shoes so you have them downstairs. No, no, no. Those though, though, there though goes there goes those sneakers that you just overbought. You yeah. overpaid for. <laughs> straight out the window. Do you know how much I paid to get the little Nas X sneakers? All right. Do you know how many they made? <laughs> what are you talking about? Six. I don't, even know what words, I don't even know what words you're saying right now. Oh, God. Okay. Where's your and clothes? You, if I, they're scuffed, Omo, for the life of me, I will, I'm going to break you. Okay. Kent okay. bought the other 665 <laughs> so nobody else could have them. Why are all your clothes wrapped? Get them out of this thing. I, I'm, I'm already out the window. Stop touching my closet. I'm leaving. Well, let, let's go. I'm, I'm already out the window. I'm climbing down. Uh, make is that a down. silk bonnet? What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> all right. You ask what the secret is for the curls. It's the bonnet. Literally, no one asked. No one. Asked. You, you, you made a judgment statement. Yeah. When does this become the kind of out? This skull. As you all, as you all descend down, uh, the the vine lattice conveniently placed for plot reasons. Uh, I I believe that and is where and aesthetic reasons and, and aesthetic reasons as well as plot yeah. based reasons. Uh, I think that's where uh, we will take our first break, sweet gamers. Uh, mm. We'll see you in a few more minutes for more Generation Fantasy. Mm, bye. Bye. And that's when oh. I push the president in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Welcome what, back to Gen F. I don't know time. why I'm laughing. What a time. Because what a time. I'm not wow. even fake laughing. I'm real laughing and I'm upset. <laughs> oh. Wow. All right. Welcome back to Generation Fantasy. We come back to um, Omo, Kaya, Kent, and Bayou standing underneath the sweet balcony of dear Juliet. Sorry, Kent. Um, <laughs> as Kent has just crawled down Omo shortly following afterwards. So where are we going? And by the way, I do have a curfew, but I guess I could try and make an excuse that I'm hanging out with some friends. Don't worry about it. I'll just tell your dad that I worked late. Question you had to. <laughs> yeah, I'll just tell your dad I worked late and you had to watch the kids. Oh, that works too. Who's driving? Uh, I think. Well, I can't. We can't take any of my parents' cars. I'm asleep. Get apart. in the fucking back seat. Oh I think God. you asked that question as Omo is getting into the passenger side, like <laughs> and closes the door <laughs> and like closes the door like fast, <laughs> and and like 
he is just laser focused on like what they need to do, what they need to find out. Okay, then then Bayou's driving. I mm-hmm. love Bayou, the reluctant Bayou, driver. <laughs> Bayou like cranks the fucking keys because now they're filled with angry anti Vanderbilt <laughs> energy. <laughs> Wait, like. Oh, but Priuses aren't loud. You're fine. I was like, yeah. uh, enough to give yeah. it away. But I remember it's the Prius, the most silent of all cars. So it's like, advantage yeah. on stealth checks it's like, as you ooh. as you drive out of the driveway. Um, <laughs> what a furious roar! <laughs> uh, <laughs> where are you going as you're all driving? I'm gonna peel out. Welcome yeah. to Cozy Six O Five. Late night hits in Jenkins, Nebraska. Tonight we've got our Enya Marathon set up for you. Hope you're ready to enjoy. That's playing on the radio as you all begin to drive. Uh, so Omo, you you still love Enya, huh? I mean, his eyes gets really wide. Like, <laughs> what is this? What is this, a fucking first date? No, what, what is this is a good question, though. Where are we going? What are we doing right now? We're solving mysteries or what the fuck ever. We are loaded with mysteries right now, guys. We got the scene of the crime. We should hit that place up before she cleans it up, right? You want to go back to Valiant High? Uh, Tonight? Maybe. Or you want to go back to our, to our high school, to the theater? So yeah, we got the theater, we got the scene of the crime, we got, uh, let's find out where she lives and spy on her there. Well, she just came to town, so she's probably probably got like a hotel room. We could also try breaking into New Era, but that's a terrible idea. Don't, don't, don't. Who putting a pin on it, putting a pin, he writes it down as cast. He's writing these Unless all on his cast. Unless you know a super secret way in. You're writing break into the New Era oh, yeah. on your cast. Like everything okay. that we need to do. Mm-hmm. Yes, correct. It is, it is a clean cast. There's yep. nothing. Yeah, nothing there yet. Nothing on there. Do it. These are all good guys, guys, guys. Whew. Uh, and he's like, tap, 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 tap on the dashboard. Got his second win. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, pulls out oh, a that hot full chocolate. Of, pulls out a pocket full of marshmallows that he took from the hot chocolate. And he's just like, slumps back, starts popping it in his mouth. All right, at least tell me where we're going, because otherwise we're going to head straight to U-Town. Why would we go to U-Town? Because there's other people looking for those vials. Ooh, Wait, the what? The vials! <laughs> Who else is looking for the vials? I don't know all their names. Would you like me to check my yearbook? or? Wait, that means someone else knows about this magic? I guess magical- I could pull out a Rolodex. Like... <laughs> almost just like giggles to himself like <laughs> stay focused man uh, <laughs> like Van <laughs> Bilt had enough right now <laughs> oh, shit, that's a good but look though. look <laughs> it's it's already alright long 10, story 15, short yeah. I was hired by somebody to find the vials I'm not the only one they were willing to pay me $1500 to get them we got one that means some people could have more most likely place they're gonna be U-Town so are we going to go there and find out who else got some and steal it from them? Because we can't just leave this stuff lying about. Yeah, sure. We could steal them. Uh, Omo pops uh, pops behind. Kai, are you cool with this? Mm, I mean, we'd be stealing from other criminals, so sure. Okay, cool. Comes back. <laughs> Two wrongs absolutely make it right. <laughs> Thousand right. percent. That's what my lawful good alignment said. I'm not lawful good. Could all you right. Imagine? Okay, so you all are driving through Maple Ridge past the Jenkins Public Library uh, and Spring Summit School uh, as you head back to U Town, uh, which is in the center of Jenkins, Nebraska. This we came from Ken's place, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Cool. Can we swing by Taco Bell on the way down? Yes, Taco Bell's right there. Awesome. Baja Blast. Baja Blast. Done. Baja Blast for everyone. Got to get that caffeine Obviously. going. Yeah. Baja sure. Blast. Please Ken sponsor pays, us. Of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Baja, Baja Ken, Blast. Ken, please. The strawberry like uh, in cash uh, or the Starburst slushies and uh, Cine Twists. That's all we get. No, the, the Cinnabon Delights. Cinnabon Delights, those are so sticky and messy. Yeah, they are. 
Anyways, uh, uh, (laughs) simping for Taco Bell aside, um, you all stop at Taco Bell. um, And as you're driving from Taco Bell to U-Town, are you developing some sort of uh, plan before you go to this place full of adults? Yeah, what what is the most likely scenario for me? Where do where do people usually go? I assume I've done um, multiple assignments for uh, Margot Day. And um, where do we usually go to drop stuff off? Yeah, so there are a few major parts of Mm U-Town. There is the quad, which is where people sort of like recreationally hang out, right? It's not in any of the buildings, right? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people just go there to, you know, play Wonderwall uh, against a tree and vibe. Um, There is... uh, you. (laughs) So, and then there is um, the old... um, Gosh, I don't even know it. It, it. It's almost like an auditorium. It was this building that housed both the auditorium and the um, the administrative offices. So this is where like the uh, principal, the, the whoever the head of the college was, whatever those people, deans, deans, nailing it. Oh, I'm such a professional dungeon master. Uh, wherever the deans, the deans <laughs> offices would be there as well as the rest of the administrative staff. And then there are the old dorms and you have never gone to the old dorms because they are probably the worst place out of these three places to hang out. The quad is pretty okay. And then the auditorium is host to like all of the rotating concerts that are in Newtown because all of Jenkins's indie bands get to play there. And it's the only concert venue in town. There's not even like a traditional one. And so like the the worst grunge music is home to this auditorium. It's very truly special. But then you know that the more um, business undertones of uh, U-Town, shall we say, takes place in those administrative areas and that the mayor of U-Town resides in the dean's office. Mm-hmm. Margo there's Day has the a... Bank. There's also the bank. Mm, President. Bank. Presidel Bank. Yeah, um, actually, you're right. I think that, oh my God, I forgot about Pre- Presidel Bank. Oh my gosh, wait, because that's also abandoned, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell you yeah. Just drop stuff off in the eight, in like the, um, <laughs> the, the drive through tubes. Pneumatic tubes. Yeah. yeah. So, so right across the street from the auditorium is Presdell Bank, mm-hmm. and Margot Day's office is in the frickin' like big opening door abandoned safe, mm-hmm. right? She just like keeps the safe door open, and her office is inside of it. Love it. Yeah, um, I think I think uh, Bayou would toss Omo their flip phone, be like, "Yo, uh, there's a number in there, number one on the speed dial. Just text her, tell her I got a, I got the briefcase." Got it. Uh, Omo starts texting right away, and then he's like, "Shit, T nine. Um, uh, do you guys know? Do you know what T nine is?" Can yeah. You- do you know what the T9 is? Oh, okay. Uh, so. That's a lie. Well, roll, roll. Do you not, yeah, do wait, do you really not know? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Is it like the one, two, three, and then it's like ABC is on one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so you okay, have to hit okay. it like four oh. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And okay, like yeah. Terminator 9. Yeah. And like oh, yeah, yeah. T9 9 texting. <laughs> like, Could you imagine? Takes like forever to do. Oh, yeah. I was so Zillenial good at it. I was, yeah, I was like, so good at it. At its height, I was amazing at it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah, could do it blindfolded. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I just start texting. Uh, what did you want me to text? Because it's going to be shorthand and not as good as whatever you. I say. got the briefcase. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I just text briefcase. Good to go. Uh, and then <laughs> GTG. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, all right, and so then you can compl- you see you you send that text off the. Oh, I don't know. No I was question to- on who that text is to, and and what is the briefcase? What what they said it was number one. I clap it shut. Obviously. Back in bio. Thanks. Okay, well, who's registered as number one then? Don't who are we dealing with? Oh my god! Why hey, do you have so many questions for parents, no reason? Number one rule my parents always told me was no who you're doing business with. This ain't business. This is more like lying and then getting paid for it. 
by you. That's you business. just told me that they paid you fifteen hundred dollars. Well, they didn't pay me because I didn't do the job. So, <laughs> Wait a minute. I should have oh. just stayed in my bed. Oh, returning? what am I doing here? Are we returning an empty briefcase to them? Well, we're more like getting directions for where we got to go because ah. we don't have all the vials, which means somebody else has probably already texted her with more vials than us. Fair enough. So she's going to tell us where everybody else is, probably. I don't know. I've never really... I've never really fucked with Margot before. <laughs> True. Yeah. Margot. Who's Margot? Kent, roll a history check. I'd love to. But da da And what we got? 21. 21. Marco Day was at the Vanderbilt Christmas party this year. Oh. No, 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 no. Margo Day is a... You mean Marco Day? Yeah, She's a hot. delightful... Like yeah, delightful uh, a woman of class, of of uh, substance. She wouldn't be caught dead in Newtown. She's <laughs> a, of a favorable sort. She works for her parents. <laughs> She drives a convertible. It's a nice car. That's a Sebring. <laughs> yeah. Sebring. Right now, I'm driving probably the most expensive car I've ever put my hands on. Does that make me a person of substance? No, if anything, uh, it's the Omo opposite. turns to buy you, you ain't shit. And then, like, <laughs> and then, and then the <laughs> doesn't even look up. He's just like popping marshmallows. Like. <laughs> exactly. Anyone can drive anything, you dumbass. Okay, okay. Well, uh, Kaya, maybe you can talk some sense to them. Just because she's rich doesn't mean she's a good person. What the fuck? Well, furthermore, why is she, what is she doing in U-Town? And should we even be going here? She obviously knows something about the vials, and that's what we're trying to find out. Do you know what I hate about what's happening right now? That you're not I am the voice deal? of reason. That mm -hmm. I am the voice of reason right now. What has happened that Kent Vanderbilt has to be like, oh, let's rein it in. I'm I'm the boisterous dude. I'm the guy who does too much all the time. Bayou like makes eye contact with Kaya in the rear view mirror. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, wow, you really hang out with this person on purpose. No, I don't. Just uh -huh. circumstances. Uh, yeah. Anyway. And now I'm hanging out with my new best friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, almost, right. starts, almost starts talking to Kent. Like, starts, like, trying to um, not talk him down or just trying, I guess, talk him down a, a little bit. Sure. Uh, he's just in the front seat. It's just like, Kent, listen, you know, on all your applications, you're going to have to write an essay, right? I mean, I I did write. I'm 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 got into Stanford, Omo. I I already applied. Okay, but it's why spring semester? You would have to. I I found out in January. Okay, fine. Then not your essay, man. Like you know how you're gonna get there, and everyone's gonna have all these different experiences and all these different things, and they're all gonna be revolving around money in some way. You're gonna be the guy who solved one of the greatest freaking mysteries ever. And it starts here, man. Think about that. Could be a little hard. Yeah, like, <laughs> Kaya is so loud in the back seat. <laughs> fine, fine. We, I, I'll have a good story to tell about it and, and it'll secure my passage into whatever fraternity will be the best for me post-grad. Take your watch off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and maybe also that Biore strip. Wait, what? <laughs> what's around, what's the matter with my jewelry? With 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 my bling? Um, Jesus, you might Christ. get robbed. Okay, yeah. that's actually fair. Um, you know what I was gonna say? Then is it safe to keep it in this car? But no one's gonna rob this hunk of junk. It's fine. Um, uh. <laughs> It's like a perfectly fine Prius. <laughs> it's absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Like, what is our big leaf? It's 2020. Yeah. We're in 2021. Yeah, here. You don't have the latest model? 
Uh, yeah, you don't have next year's model <laughs> blown straight from the manufacturer. Mm-hmm. What is this? Meanwhile, a previous? Ken drives a fucking oh. Acura. <laughs> <laughs> a previous? I'm oh, so that was bad. good. That was good. Yeah, as you so okay, so we cut to like you driving up, you turn down Enya uh as you're sort of driving into U-town. Um however, there's only so far you can get into U-town because if if there is if if Jenkins, Nebraska has four roads, one coming in from the north, one coming in from the south, one coming in from the east and the west. U-Town has blocked off those four roads heading into U-Town. So you can only drive your car so far in. So you're gonna have to park on the little little bit outside and then make your way inside. So you all do that, you gather your things. Are you going in equipped? Are you going in incognito? Are you- What does equipped mean in this instance? You're wearing your backpacks? Are you four like yeah, little backpack Jesus. hauling like nerds? I like, will not let your backpack I didn't need to eat that. <laughs> what's, it, what's it? All right, so backpacks uh, uh, on. Yeah, I think Bayou would go in the same way Bayou always goes in. All right, you've got the briefcase. You're heading on in. Um, you can hear playing from the uh, playing from the auditorium. We are the Skimble Shanks Collective, and we are here to blow your minds. As the uh, as the music of uh, this week's uh, grunge band picks up. What are they honestly, called? Uh, the Skimble Shanks Collective. I don't like Skimble? them. But they've got a weird like tap dance feature in the middle. That Skimble honestly, or uh, Skimble Shanks Collective. Skimble Shanks. Wait, were you actually referencing a band, TK? Because there is a no, band. No, it's that, cats. Oh, there, there <laughs> is. Shapes is a tap dancing cat. <laughs> oh, because there is a band, Tilly in the Wall, that had a tap dancer instead of a uh, drummer uh-huh. in it. <laughs> that's right. That's what the best thing about Tilly in the Wall was. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's also the same for the Skimbleshanks Collective. Hell yeah. <laughs> but they, but they did it first. Skimbleshanks Collective did. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no knew one that. knew that. No one knew that. Uh, yeah. So it's really the, the Skimbleshanks Collective really did that. So uh, that's that's the sound you hear coming from the auditorium you see it's a it's a concert night uh go ahead and everyone give me just sort of like a cursory perception check so i can know how just like on it you are as we head into u-town don't like that 12. And... Oh, 13. Whoa. Oh. wow okay so 13 at best Ooh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and since Bayou yeah. rolled that high, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just roll a, um, just a sort of cursory yeah, I like oppositional to that, uh, check. I think that Bayou is like very hyper-focused on what they need to be doing as opposed yeah. to looking around, like watching exits or anything like that because Bayou has never, Bayou is a a criminal, but has never like pissed off other criminals. And so is like a little paranoid, but is paranoid to the point where they're like fixating as opposed to, oh, anyone could get me at any time. Yeah, so I think we we watch the four of you turn and head to the corner and head straight into the bank, which I will describe, but we, us, the audience, sort of lingers out here for a moment. We watch Bayou and Entourage go in, and seconds later, we watch Savannah come in and go into the auditorium with her girlfriends, one of Bayou's leather jackets on and everything. Um, <laughs> as as these two ships miss each other in the night. Um, and we are now in the bank. The ceilings are low here. Um, This bank was small, but opulently built. Um, You can see that the where the safe drawers previously used to be, they've all been ripped out and replaced by bricks. And each brick, you can take them out and there's a different sort of drawing or a signature or slam poem written on each one. So each one of these bricks is a different piece of art on it. And then you see at the back, 
back, there is this vault wall, this vault door opened, and you can peer inside the vault and you see Marco Dishy has taste. She's got those like cozy string lights over the top of it. She's got a big intimidating desk in the fucking middle of it. And she's got a huge chair and the chairs in front are tiny. <laughs> she's making her guests sit in tiny chairs. Um, but she's got like a, a like a red like velvet couch off to the side like everything else about you town is dirty but you step into margo day's office and it is like that bank has never aged and you can see that there are a lot of margo day's affiliates like coming and going by you you're getting a few knowing nods from people who are out and about um but um notably the person who is sort of closest to margo day kind of steps out in front of you um i think that they're just kind of like not not so much uh margo day's go-to but um margo did <laughs> margo day's favorite errand person uh right who feels that that makes them margo day's number two mm. um you know whether or not margo day thinks that um is a different matter entirely and um it's it's mm, which of these names are my favorite i think it's Brett, as Brett steps in front of the vault and says, uh, hey, by you, do you have a meeting with, why are you here? And isn't it a little, a little bit late for the elementary schoolers to be out? Yeah, I'm sure if that were applicable to an elementary schooler, sure, I think that would definitely be the case. Uh, Margo's expecting me. I texted her ahead of time. If it's okay with you, mommy, Mommy, I like uh, like back. I back by you up. I'm not even paying attention. I'm like scra scraping stuff off the wall. Uh, mommy, it's <laughs> like not even making eye contact with this dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. that does not help me. That stuff helps. Like when you break someone, like like from afar. Do you think that's like gonna break eighth grader? Them? Oh, eighth grader size? Oh man, everyone questions what they're doing and how they're standing and how they're acting when you start like when there's some type of immaturity thing. Because here's the thing with the immaturity thing. I do that thing. a lot to people. You yeah. can't you can't fight immaturity with immaturity. It's impossible. Like if you go in <laughs> pretending to be a hard guy and someone goes immature on you, you you're stuck with hard guy getting made fun of the entire time. Mm -hmm. Like his only option now is to throw a punch. Uh, <laughs> like that's his only option. Like if you want. Thanks for if, getting my face broken. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that you're just gonna get Bayou punch. Is I think the conclusion. Honestly, that I just heard you come Bayou to. Bayou deserves it, and honestly, already looks like it at this point. Oh, so. I think it, I think it feels like four people walked in the room though, and like yeah. like. We're not having it either. Go ahead and roll me an intimidation check. Cool. That's what I want to do. Jesus Christ. <laughs> is that is it Omo rolling intimidation? Yes, it is. Nice. Yeah. I like that better. No, it's not. No, sorry. It, it's absolutely. On, no, sorry. Uh, it is. It is Omo. That's mm. what I. Oh, I thought you asked if you were doing it. Yes, okay, it is. I'm not yes, making you do it. That's what I want. Thank you. I have, I have worm brains. Uh, I, have, I, I have such a tiny body it. and it's so oh, punchable. It yeah. No, if anyone's gonna get punched, it just turns hoping it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have inspiration yet, Omo? I don't have inspiration. I want to give my inspiration to Omo oh. to re-roll. Oh yeah, you did. You got it. You last have one week. inspiration that you haven't spent yet. You got one last time. Didn't I spend it? What did you spend you it on? Uh, yeah, yeah, you did like something stupid. Joke. It was something stupid. Oh, you spent on oh, something. It was, okay, it was well, a joke. Okay. It was a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I only pay attention to important. <laughs> Important rules. Um, <laughs> um, can I can I give my inspiration to Omo to re-roll? Sure. Yeah, Thanks. let's do this. Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carlo. Do you want the two? Do you want the natural Are one or the me? six? Are you kidding me on this? Ridiculous. What, what the is up with this <laughs> uh, Carlos, you, I ask for so little <laughs> you feel this f Omo you feel this thwack against your temple as Brett simply leans over and just flicks you right in the temple with his finger he says as he's looking at, at Bayou and says hey don't invite the fucking goonies next time <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I turn, what's it called I turn around like super nice. slowly and I write his name on my cast. 
Like, <laughs> I, okay. I just, you can now, you, you know Brett's name? <laughs> Do I you just, know? I, like, it's the biggest thing on my cast. It's like, <laughs> if this is my cast, it Take just it says Brett on it now. Like, that's all it says. <laughs> it says, sneak into the new era, Brett. <laughs> Brett. Like, it's huge. It looks like the cast was made by a company named Brett. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, who yeah. it's like, made by. Watch, yeah. you're just like staring him in the eyes. You like messily scrawl it on with your left. Are you left handed? Uh, it's in my left hand, so I'm right-handed, yeah. So, okay, this is great. That's great. Uh, okay. And under my breath, I just want to be like, I'm going to make you eat your own fucking name, dude. And there's this moment of, like, still silence. <laughs> and then you hear from the back, go, you are you hear, Brett, what the fuck are you doing? Let buy you in. Uh, as Margaret, like, finally looks up from her desk, she was, like, on her phone answering uh, our message, and she she does she does have her, her feet are, like, stereotypically up yeah. on the desk. You see she's got some killer boots pants on. Pants a skirt. Can, can pants I, a can skirt. I say pants a skirt. Pants a skirt. Brett? Pants tucked into the boot. Yeah, what's up? Mm-hmm. Um, Ken's gonna, like, pass behind Omo and them and just do, like, one of these quick things to Brett after <laughs> Omo got in their face. Um, and he's gonna cast uh, Mage Hand and tie Brett's laces together. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you mage hand tie Brett's shoelaces together. I will revisit this. No one makes fun of my raccoon, but me. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Yeah, Bayou like claps Brett on the shoulder. It's like, down puppy. Mm -hmm. And Uh, uh, goes into the office. uh, It's like this time Bayou gets away without getting the shit kicked out of him and they're going to enjoy it. mm -hmm. Yeah. um, And so I think I think um, as the scene like it's like 30 seconds into the scene, we hear like a like a (laughs) as uh, Brett like tries to begin strolling away after the confrontation (laughs) and immediately just fucking thieves it on the ground. Uh, Um, Hey, look at this loser. Everyone laugh at this loser. Look at him fall. What a loser. (laughs) It's a loud club. Nobody can hear Kent because I'm a man. I'll make a performance no, check for this. I'll make a, no, this is Margo's business zone. I'll, make, I'll, I'll totally make a performance check on roasting Brett right now. I, yeah. I, I This is totally worth yeah, it. Yeah, well, that's, you honestly, go ahead and roll it because uh, Margo Day's associates don't super love Brett, so you might win some points over Brett's here. It's a 22. 22 it's a 22. There is nothing that bonds people more than a mutual enemy. Uh, this <laughs> so one, they, this guy sucks. They sort of like I nod at you it. and are like, hey, yeah, I'll oh, fucking <laughs> Brett. Uh, and is and Margo I, Day laughing? Uh, Margo Day, Margo Day is not paying attention because she is looking at you and she says, Damn, by you what what hailstorm hit you and only you in Jenkins, Nebraska? Don't worry about it. I was just I had some trouble getting the while. Did you anchor a storm? Mm, not so much. But All right, show me the goods. You told me that the briefcase was good to go, and I want to believe you and see it. Well Margo. Ms. Day if I may. There has been uh, an interesting development. Choose your next words very carefully. All the vials but one were broken. Show me the damn briefcase. Uh, Slides the briefcase up, opens it, one vial. Where'd you find this? Valiant High. The rest of them were broken, scattered all over the high school. Well, deception check. Ooh, yikes! I don't have good charisma for this. Then why'd you try it? Do you know what's like, would have been great is if I had held on to my inspiration. <laughs> I, will, for this I will give you my inspiration. Because I know. Oh. Salani, my beautiful angel. And I mean that one. I'm not making that Lie one well. Up. No. Lie, lie well. <laughs> Jesus, I don't have shit in deception. Oh, please. Oh, you do it enough though. A fifteen? Thank goodness. <laughs> Damn. You beat the ten. You beat the ten. Mm-hmm. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe I've done this either. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. Sorry. Is Kent like in the doorway saying? <laughs> just quoting memes from. Yeah, just quoting memes to make himself feel better. 
Yeah. Then look around like, am I right? Am I right though? Like all ooh. the rest of the bottles. Oh are no! Broken. I've been on TikTok lately. <laughs> <laughs> Kent, oh, Kent no. made fun of this guy. He's like in the hallway with like with his phone making a TikTok of him making fun of this guy. Yeah. He just tripped in the hallway. I watched a TikTok trend last night of like what I would wear to each kind of fashion show, and it'd be like Prada, Yves Saint Laurent. What I wear, and sorry, I just vividly imagined Kent doing one of those TikToks. Of what Kent? <laughs> Wear to each of those fashion shows. <laughs> yeah. I, I assume you're very famous on TikTok, uh, Ken. Uh, I must say. The, you, I think it's because no. the, in this universe of TikTok, he buys uh, followers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, you're telling me the vials were broken when you got there. Pretty much, this is the only one left. Which oh, you added there was on like a, out. There was a giant squirrel creature. It was weird. Excuse me? Yeah, uh, I, I want I, to- like, I, I chime in. It was a bear. Sorry, it was a bear? No, it was a cow. Literally, look, there was a giant squirrel creature. I don't know what was up. It was probably radiation poisoning or what the fuck ever. All that matters is that when I found the briefcase, none of the vials were in it. When I found the vials, they were all broken and empty. And you had good authority that it was all 10 of those vials that were broken. Oh, yeah. Found it. I mean, I found the stoppers and stuff. They're pretty much just in half, like glow sticks. But you brought me one. Yeah, the one with stuff in it. What are you going to do with empty vials? I'm just saying by you, I don't know. This is a job done. All right. All right. What did you see while you were at this high school? You have any evidence who left this there? No. I know that the the this vial was in the security office. One of the rich kids is having a birthday party. Um Bradley McArthur, a, a, a certain type of sword. I don't know if you're aware. Hey, Hi, I'm, uh, Ken, I'm, you want to do me a favor, actually, and shut the fuck up? Oh, hey, hey by you, I could, but um, I think actually. Wait, aren't you Vanderbilt? Miss Day, what a pleasure. It is a delight to meet Why you. Why did you bring Vanderbilt here, I Morrison? I didn't bring him. You followed me. I didn't oh, know fine. he was here. No, 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 but you you, you know how to, you've had dealings with the Vanderbilts before. This could be, of like, course, nothing. Kent, it's good to see you. It's great to see you, Margo. And this can be our own special deal. Um, I just, we've been, um, as you can imagine, by you, bit off more than they could chew and needed some help handling this scenario. And we decided to step in and, and help out. But <laughs> unlike some of the other people that who work under you, I kind of need a little more information if I'm trying to help someone accomplish their goal. So I don't know, what's the deal with the sauce? You know, what's the deal with what's inside the liquid? In the vial. You can tell me. I know. I know that underlings don't really. You don't so really much. tell them much. I imagine at a certain point he cuts himself off and he's like, "Um, I'm sorry. Do you have a receptacle where I can throw my gum wrapper away?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I just imagine he's just like, "Oh my, it's so cringe." Like the entire yeah. thing is just so cringe. Bayou's face is just getting like more and more mortified because they have considered the the chance, even if. Vanderbilt has not, that maybe she didn't ask the Vanderbilts for help because she didn't want the Vanderbilts to know about it. Um, and it's just like. While this is happening, can I be like studying the room and stuff inside it and just taking like notes of things? Oh, there. Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check for me. And if you do well on this, I will give you advantage on all, uh, you, uh, all Margot Day estate investigations ongoing. Ooh, Jesus I am not going to do well on this, but... I'm not getting shit today. We will see. The 15. 15. All right, go ahead, take it. Cool. Um, yeah, how can I... Is, is, do you think yeah, this is a I performance? See is this a, a deception? Yeah, like no, this? it's definitely a persuasion. I'm just deciding on whether or not you have disadvantage. Um, sure. It's what I've been thinking about. And I'm going to actually leave that up to TK Johnson to decide Hello? because... Do you think that Margot Day's relationship is good enough with Bayou to doubt Kent in this moment? 
I think that Bayou owes Margot Gay a lot of money. And I think that that influences a lot of Margot's decisions about Bayou. Roll a disadvantage. I think that <laughs> eighteen across the board. Holy you know, shit. good. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well. Margo signs Bayou's checks, but Kent signs Margo's checks. Shit. My parents do right. Oh how the turntables have turntables. <laughs> she she's sort of like like hands on her temple. She says, "Okay, Vanderbilt, sit down." Um, I don't. I'm. I'm a freelancer, Vanderbilt. I don't know why. I just know that it needs to happen, right? Um, but I would appreciate your discretion in this matter going forward. So, if I can answer for you anything, answer anything for you right now, mm-hmm. go ahead and ask. Well, first off, Margo, appreciate your discretion and mine are both appreciated in this uh, current situation. Um, Frankly, this substance, um, why would it even be at Valiant High? Why would someone just leave it there or who even asked you to get it? Listen, some of my contractors are anonymous and from even me, they just have long working relationships. What I want to know is, Bayou, you were talking about some ch- chase. Who who was Bradley? Who who's throwing this? Whose stash did you find? I don't know. Some rich, uh, the MacArthur kid. Bradley MacArthur. Bradley MacArthur. She actually writes that name down on this, you know, piece of paper that's right the by Jenko her. Jenko Prince. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay, yes. All right. An actual MacArthur. All right. Where's the stash? Guard tower. Valiant Be- High. Careful. There's a lot of radiation around there. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Kent, it was closed due to a biohazard incident. Did my camera just turn off? No, yeah. you're, you're back, back. You're back. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why my computer is deciding to die uh, here in this Chili's. Um, <laughs> here in this Chili's tonight. Yeah. Uh, and oh she's God in Marco Day's office. I can't. We gotta. For the record, we eventually have to do a stream where we all just set ourselves up at a Denny's, at like in our hometowns. <laughs> oh, and we're all, like, Denny's this, stream. Denny's D and D. It's Denny's my new D&D. favorite property. I That's love good. that you think that Denny's is here. <laughs> they got an IHOP, right? They got to be something. Uh, I think there's an IHOP in the next town over. We got a Waffle House. Y'all got Waffle House. Yeah, got Waffle Anyways, house. so. Uh, <laughs> She says, yeah, Yeah. Vanderbilt, there's radiation poisoning in a place that was closed due to a biohazard incident? Yes, yeah, I I know, I know. But look, Bradley clearly wasn't thinking, or whoever was working for Bradley clearly wasn't thinking about too much of safety when they put stuff in. And uh, Margot just tried to be mindful of, of things to be aware of. Um. If you would be so kind though, um, I would just love to know where were you or how were you supposed to tell your partner when you had the goods? Like, is there a drop off that you were going to make? I don't know how the Vanderbilts do it, Kent, Mm. but I'm not going to talk about my business practice with a plucky looking group of teenagers. That's fair. You passed the test. I know I can do business with you now because you can guard some secrets. I can't wait for that spider to bite the shit out of him. <laughs> she brings a glass that looks suspiciously like whiskey to her lips and it's like, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Does she leave a lipstick ring on it? You know it. Oh, fuck yeah. That's that good shit. All right. By you best, I can do you as 500. I appreciate the work you put in. I'll take it. 
Um, she just takes like this fucking wad of cash and just places it out in front of you. Uh, Bayou slips it into their the, the like the inside pocket of their jean jacket and then half zips the jacket. And then she takes um, this like wad of cash out from her pocket and hands a one hundred dollar bill to Omo, Kaya, and Kent, hey. and says. When your friend's stash goes missing tomorrow morning, you didn't hear anything about it. No, of course not. Also, do I, do either of you need this? I really, either of you, <laughs> any of you? Kind of snatches it. <laughs> Go for it. Good, please. Honestly, I, my money clips bursting as it is. Um, and Jesus this is fucking Christ. Back in his pocket. Um, well then, this has been delightful. Uh, Margot Day, uh, gang, do we need anything else here? Um. Oh man, I, I'm I'm not charismatic, so there's no way that I'm gonna pass this. Uh, Yolo. Uh, Yolo. Wait. I've got your back. I'll give you the help action somehow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I want to know what Brett's last name is. <laughs> <laughs> like all right what are you trying to find out where we're what game move are we making we're making a vendetta all right yeah yeah, yeah. oh the vendetta is coming in strong Jesus oh, okay Christ. okay okay uh yeah what's on his name tag yeah I was, uh um hold on Yeah, I want to say something to the effect of like, I, I think how I get it is um, I say something like, uh, uh, it's like, you know what, Margo, you need better help. Brett Kaminsky is an asshole. And just like, <laughs> just name a name that's not his. And uh, like, I knew him growing up. Like, and see if she comes back like, oh, that's not Kaminsky. That's his last name's so-and-so. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's what I want to try to do. Yeah, let me just wow. do a general luck-based mechanic here. <laughs> All right. Uh, she, like, sort of tilts her head over, and she says, Brock? Oh. Yeah, Brock is a piece of shit. It was Bre Brett Brock. His name is Brett no. Brock. Brett Brock. <laughs> oh. Well, I better not That's hear why this guy about sucks. Henry McRonald ever again. <laughs> Henry McRonald. <laughs> Lucius Malfucius. No, 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 no. <laughs> Brett, Bro <laughs> Brett Brock. Brett Brock. <laughs> Uh, I found that you had just like a legacy of names so far. And uh, uh, Jenkins is rich with good names. It's um, terrible here. It's yeah, Omo files it away in his head. Want, you um, um, all right. It's like things to do. All right. I love you, but I will ruin your little neck. <laughs> you talking to Omo for a second. Yeah, I did too. For a, then I saw the cat. No, I'm talking to the cat. I'm talking to a oh, good boy. All right. Marco is, uh, is, is expectantly at the four of you. Is Brett in the room when we leave? Is he in the other room as we leave? Yeah, Brett's in one of the couches that's uh, in the like general area, not inside the vault. Cool. Uh, as we leave, like I want my back towards him, and I like as I'm walking out, I want to say goodbye. I want to say, "See you later, Brett." Like, but you can't see. Me. Like, I'd be like, mm. "See you later, Brett." Like, <laughs> 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 like, like just have my hand up. Be like, oh. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. It's gonna be great when you can't get that off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Is that god. tape? Is it marker? I got uh, it. It's, it's, it's gaff tape. It's gaff tape. It's gaff tape. Yeah, it's like a nice. <laughs> hey, shopping. what the fuck? <laughs> as the door closes. <laughs> yeah. as the door closes. <laughs> <laughs> like, leave the like, bank. Yeah. I'm gonna systematically destroy this kid's life. <laughs> I like that Carlos is like, Masood's not the only one who could do prop comedy <laughs> <laughs> all my prop comedy is costume based there's a difference yeah. uh, yeah. I think um, we head back to the Prius right then as we, as we gather ourselves um, yeah $500 is enough for me to blow off three ships of work it's fine $500 is nothing uh, almost like uh, putting stuff away like five hundred dollars you gave her nothing and she gave you five hundred dollars and he's like getting getting his backpack off his back well that's like, not entirely true what did you what give her mean? technically i gave her the vial you gave her a vial this money yeah. isn't isn't for the work done this is 
this is shut up money stop stop asking questions be grateful money uh that's, that's pulled, actually a pretty good insight yeah he pulls out like a gatorade and just starts like chugging Gatorade. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he had nothing important in his bag like he wasn't setting up or anything but then he does take out like his baton and like puts it in it's like we need to go to the auditorium we need to find out who hired margo and fucking find out where brock lives uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a no. Uh, if first up, how late is it? It is midnight, guys. It's already midnight. I'm gonna get only six hours at this point, and I'm gonna be so cranky. Tomorrow. This is actually me. <laughs> I got it. Like, please, right. can we just go to bed? Like, yeah, this go has to been bed. Good. Go. I have to agree. We could probably use a rest, and I. I need some spell saws back. <laughs> no, no, well, I, I think maybe you two have to work the morning shift, right? We have school. Yes, yes, we have school, but do you two feel fine exploring the auditorium? Like, we'll go back, we'll we'll get we back home. tomorrow night. Or as we'll work, the rich will sleep, and then we'll reconvene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Omo just has it in his head. He's just like, you know, he starts seeing it, like in real time, like mm -hmm. the difference between like those that like feel accomplishment, like this is the greatest day of his entire life. You know, mm -hmm. like Omo has never felt more alive than right now. Uh, and he would not give this up. Like if he had one hit point, like <laughs> one, you know what I mean? Like, right. like this exhaustion. is all, yeah, this is all yeah. he wants to do. Like until it's like run until it's dead it's just like you guys can go home you guys can go to sleep you guys can crash here there's probably some open dorm rooms whatever you need to do don't crash here oh no i'm going to bed <laughs> ken, I is my dad. ken is terrified at any point his parents are going to check in and see his room is empty and like there's just like a run it like at any like of course this is I, actually I can't. I, I want to give a lesson about sneaking out, but I can't because I, I don't know how old our audience is, and so I'm going to not say Wait, anything. Uh, give a lesson about sneaking about, out. Yeah, here, here's my thing. Don't don't listen to me. Don't, don't take a caveat. Don't sneak out. Don't sneak, don't out. sneak, don't out. sneak out. out of your part. Here's the thing. if you sneak out of your um, wherever your you are. If you're if you're folks and you don't want your parents to know, like and you sneak out, your parents aren't going to wake up at three in the morning. They're not going to wake up at four in the morning. They're going to wake up when they wake up. So once you're out, you're out barring something really like shaking that so if you're ever worried or like having a lot of anxiety about sneaking out that that hopefully that provides some comfort like once you're out chill and it just worry about getting in and getting out like that i that's thought you were gonna thing. give a tip about sneaking maybe, out i thought maybe you were gonna actually, like some like foolproof way of like sneaking oh. out carlos if you want to do us all a favor and just cut that entire monologue i don't <laughs> just, Masood, why did you like, have to preface it like like we're on like the learning channel or something like that i, was like, I, was like, anxiety, I thought you were you gonna know? say something like oh yeah and then you know you drug your parents, your parents. <laughs> and then, like, i thought you were gonna say something like that I was like, no, I was like, no. man, Masood, do I have to block? Do I have to bleep you out right now? What are you gonna say? What <laughs> messed up thing are you gonna say? And you're like, oh. <laughs> Sometimes you might you might feel bad. You might not enjoy being out. What's if you done out. is Masood, done. <laughs> Masood, you you gave speaking out is a sin. You <laughs> yeah, you gave a tip on like how to deal with your 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 con like a, yeah. a conscious like a. <laughs> Yeah, that advice for some people for, who have already chosen to sneak out. Yeah. Right? No, not are we suggesting that you sneak out. That was just specifically advice for the people who have already chosen to sneak That's out. That's how to deal with the feelings of maybe feeling bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feelings <laughs> are valid. Out. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, me, the lifelong introvert, my mother was always trying to get me to leave. <laughs> like, go I'll be like, oh, you're trying to sneak out? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, y'all have any friends. Like, I don't want to. I remember, I remember, I remember getting um, fucking grounded for a month for coming home at like, I don't know, 2 a.m. And the thing is, is I wasn't even like really doing anything. I was walking around my hometown. I found an abandoned railroad and I walked from one side of the town to the other side of the town like Whoa. three times. Dude, honestly, and I though? came home at 2 a.m. And my dad was like, where the fuck were you? And I was like, I, you know what? I don't know. I was kind of hoping I'd 
Like in the Narnia or something. Just want something just to happen. Never, yeah. I just wanted something so desperately to happen, but <laughs> nope, stuck in Kentucky still. Well, <laughs> still in Nebraska, Ken Omakaya, and but are you guys cool you? with that? I mean, I, I, if you if if you always want to keep doing your evening, I don't want to stop you. I don't want to keep you from enjoying what you're doing, but I. I want to go to bed. I want to get some rest. I want to uh, sleep and Burst, uh, yeah. come and attack it. You know, I've got to play the baker in the play, and, and that oh. requires a little bit of rest. People depend on me. Mm-hmm. Kaya wants to go home and check on her dad. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, at least that's a value, valid reason. Okay. Omo, Omo tells Bayou to give uh, the keys to Kaya so um, she can go check on her dad. I can't drive. What? Just Kaya, you can't drive. No. None of us can drive, guys. Oh, it's fine. God. All right, I, I will drive. drive. Oh, you can't drive, but you have a car. Yeah, I throw the keys at. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, throw the keys I can't. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Don't mess okay. with my settings. Of course not, bud. All right, yeah. uh, I can stay out a little longer. Savannah's watching the kids. You guys good? All right, uh, tomorrow, lunch, let's check in. At school or at, at the where? At lunch, during lunch period. I mean, where are we meeting though? Oh, oh, that's that's fair. Um, library is pretty empty and no one, no one eats lunch there. We we'll spend our lunch in the, in the Did library. Did you say eat lunch there, but okay. In the school library, no one, no one spends their lunch there. Don't you have like a private room there? The public library. We've been thinking about getting an ad, like building oh. the pub, but honestly, uh, I've, I'm gonna, I'm leaving. I'm leaving in a, in, in a few months. There would be no purpose in adding. A, a, yeah, you you guys get it. Anyways, uh, good night. Enjoy your secrets and and what you find out, and and we'll hear about it tomorrow. Don't get um, arrested. Mm-hmm. And then I'm uh, or turned into a giant monster. Mm. Something. Omo had it. <laughs> thought about being turned into a giant monster until um, just this moment honestly we literally yeah. ran into two giant monsters yeah. that's true like, it's possibly very... both the the i mean anything's gotta be cooler of... than a serial magic <laughs> fruit loop magic Man, i gave you i gave you such a gift and you're still so upset about it no, i'm not I upset think... like oma would be though like wouldn't you yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you be though? Like, would it, like if you I mean, watched your friends like rock it and then like, like all the things that you, you summoned the you want, cereal mascot. And yeah, you're like, I think cereal mascot, and it wasn't even cool. It wasn't like he could interact with him. He just blew up. He killed himself. He, he just exploded. exploded. Died. Like he just died. He just like, hey, Omaha. <laughs> like, I was just like, okay, cool. All right, oh. well, yeah, Omo is exhausted. So at any point, if like he does, he's riding a high. But at any yeah. point, if he has to sit down, he's gonna fall asleep wherever he wherever he goes. Like, yeah. So the four of you are the four of you kind of hanging out um, near the edges of of U Town. But you see a few teens step out of the shadows, and you recognize one of the one of the people sort of at the at the head of the group, Robin Riley by you. Um, they're one of Margot's better uh, fixed helpers. And uh, they've just got like a mean look on their face. And they say, hey, we don't do heiresses in U-Town. What? You, Vanderbilt, out. Oh, air, oh, air. Oh, honestly, so here's the thing. I'm an heir, not an heiress. Clearly you don't have any wealth. So you wouldn't understand it? Four. Can't go. Three. You are, I'm not scared of this punk. Go. Two. I can do magic now. I One. You drive me home. Fine, <laughs> fine, fine. I'm long. leaving, loser. Get out of here. You wanna you wanna call me a loser in U Town? Yo, Robin, I'll give you a hundred dollars, step off. I'd pay two hundred dollars to give that dude a black eye. Hey. 
I don't need to pay anything to tell you you suck. <laughs> and I hop in the car and I feel like. <laughs> Kaya, let's go! Kaya, like, driving. his hand out and is like, yo, I'll, I'll sell some fucking tickets. Hell yeah. <laughs> let's do it. I got kids to put through college. Baby <laughs> um, needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I think I think Vanderbilt does get away in the nick of time, but uh, Omo, yeah, Omo and Bayou definitely watches like Robin Riley and a few other members of Utown do almost just go after sweet sweet Vanderbilt. Yeah. Uh, he probably he fine. probably deserved it. Uh, the like, is doesn't. That's Omo was yeah. ready to throw down. Like he was, yeah. he was like he had his baton in his hand. Like it was. Yeah. He, was, he was about to feed the spider, like yeah. right then and there. <laughs> uh, I think that's that the baton. Yeah, yeah, it's it's where like, I feed the spider. Eat spider. Eat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bayou, like puts the hand out in front of Omo for a minute. Is like, let's regroup at the shop. Write down what we know. Yeah, yeah. definitely got to write think, down what we know. And he's writing yeah. down Robin Riley next to like under <laughs> Brett's name, right. just inside the B. He's writing it. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think Bayou knows a tired teen when they see one, um, and it's kind of like let's let's at least make a list of what we know, what we don't, and uh, and I think Bayou would lead Omo at least to the donut shop to like All right. regroup. All right, um, so Kent, you are driving home, um, Kaya. Um, you are in. Omo's mother's car, <laughs> Omo's mother's Prius. Um, this car is just being passed about today. How's the how's the energy? How's the vibe as you two are silent listening to the Enya uh, marathon? Strangely tense. Not really strangely, but even more tense than you. Regularly but not tense. Inter but not like interpersonal tense, more yeah. like this is a, such a weird situation. I think it's a, it's weird for, for a lot of reasons. Like there, a lot of stuff happens today, but I think perhaps the weirdest thing is that Kaya and Kent are on the same side in what they're dealing with. Like, and I, th I think that's what Kent is thinking about. It's like, oh, this person who I've built up as my enemy is now uh, my ally. Um, Kaya's not thinking that at all. She's right. just like, I just got two hundred dollars in shush money. <laughs> We're doing nothing. Mm -hmm. We're now dealing with actual criminals. This is how getting intense. Okay, Kent, how do you navigate a social scenario like this? You're shifting dynamics, but you don't want to make it seem like you're- Why are you muttering to yourself? <laughs> oh, Enya's still good, man. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Omo really, uh, so say what you will about him, but Enya really slaps. Um, so, so uh, Kaya, um, where are you going to school in the fall? Don't, you, don't you know? try to make small talk, this is- I'm trying. Come on, Kai. I'm, I'm saying trying. don't. There's no point. We're all just thinking about this situation. Okay. Fine. Then let's talk about this situation. Um, Where do we right. go next? Well, Portia, in my opinion, that that is that's the person we need to root out and figure out next steps from. Can you can you maybe get some information from your parents about where she might be staying? Yes, I will I will look into it, but I did also um find out that the new era uh is opening up an intern program and um pretty sure I was able to get all of us a spot with them. So uh, at the if the new era is somehow tied which oh, I doubt because that my mother would know about be. it. It's no, 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 my, it's not. It's not. My mother would know. And, and, and I really think this is a foreign element. Portia is new in town. But there could be other foreign elements there, too. At the new era? What? Kaya, my It's not mother... like you know everybody who works there. No, no, but I know my mother. I know my mom. And I know my mom would know everyone who works there. So by the transitive property, I do know everyone who works there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll quote math yeah. at you. Oh, so when does the internship start, though? I, I'm not sure. I'll, 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 I'll figure it out. It, it seems like it just happened this evening, or if our recommendation letters will be sent over soon. Um, 
but I'll, I'll keep folks in the loop. When did you do this? It was uh, while well, you all were waiting, when I thought I was going to bed at a reasonable hour. You just drafted up some recommendation letters? No, so no, no, no. I talked favors? to my parents, and, and uh. they're going to write recommendation letters on, on well, on Bradley's, on Omo's, and on Bayou's behalf. We don't need it because we're the top of the class, and we'll probably just get in. Fair enough, fair mm-hmm. enough. All right. Anyways, so we're going to do undercover investigations yeah. and a new era. I think that's a, and at the very least, maybe when I get to rehearsal tomorrow, see if there's any leftover debris or something oh, from the debacle. Idea. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think I pull up to Kaya's house at this point. Can I get perception checks from both of you? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, if my dad's I'm dead, I'm gonna cry. I've, I've had to make many a perception check and none of them above, above a 10. Let's see. 18. Ooh. Cool. Hey, 13. Okay, I think you both can kind of see it. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like tucked in one of the giant shrubberies in the back of the house. Mm-hmm. And you see that the porch lights are kind of like turned off in that area, um, but Oh boy. But one of either, there seems to be some sort of like a hulking little mass over there with like a little sheet over it. Um, it it's it's very large. Um, is it something that's been there before? It's kind of. No, like it's, a, it's a new large thing with a sheet covering it. Is that? What is that? Okay, so that's new. You don't, you, you, I didn't know what was in your backyard if you just had. Uh, I mean, my dad works on projects sometimes, but I've never seen this before. Um, Kai is gonna, gonna creep forward and like, look around, make sure there's nobody watching. Kai, don't get too close. What, maybe, maybe and she's we... gonna cast Mage Hand to try and like lift and just kind of peek underneath and see what is. You cast Mage Hand and you start pulling up on the tarp as it slowly creeps upwards. And the first thing you see are two front wheels. <laughs> and then the hood of that a, a hood, a metallic hood with a slightly dark purplish sheen as you lift it even more. Uh, Kaya, this seems to be a purple VW bug with a tarp placed over it. She's just gonna gently lower that back down and she's just gonna be like, well, I guess I better learn how to how to drive now. <laughs> and that's it, she squeals. <laughs> she almost, almost hugs Kent just because he's there, but then she's yeah. like, ugh. Um, Thank you for for dropping me off. Um, see you at school. Cool. Uh, also, nice whip. Uh, see you at school. <laughs> nice whip. <laughs> nice whip. <laughs> now I will watch you, Nene. <laughs> I'm saying you have a you have a nice you have a nice whip. Uh, yeah. Is what I was inferring. <laughs> uh, and then uh, yeah, uh, Kent hops back in the car um, and heads back to the estate and he's gonna leave the car a little bit down the road and like park it on the street so we don't have to like deal with that um, and scale back in. All right, mm-hmm. perfect. So with Bayou and Omo heading to the donut shop with Kaya heading in to see your dad and with Kent making the a valiant attempt to sneak back in, I believe that that is where we will leave our fair heroes for this session and we will pick back up in the night. <laughs> So Kai gets inspiration next time because she got two hundred dollars for not doing shit and a new car. It's <laughs> been a good day for Kaya. Good day for Kaya. Inspiration for things that happened to her. Uh, I'm not arguing against you. I'm arguing against Ken. <laughs> I'm arguing against generational wealth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, oh we're gonna God. head around one more time and introduce ourselves and tell us where you can find us on the internet. TK, start us off. Uh, hey, it's me, TK, Eat the Rich Johnson. Um, 
I write spooky stories on the internet. If you like spooky stories, you can read them at my website, tkjwrites.com, or you can follow me on Twitter, tkjoinsthefray. Oh, I'm going to be at Arcana this weekend. It's very exciting. We're going to be doing a lot of panels about like the intersection between actual real life uh, magical faith and practices and how they are usually portrayed in games and how we can do them better and more consciously, you know, just like better. Uh, Yeah. So that's this whole weekend. It's going to be very exciting. We have cute little hoodies. Uh, I'm going to be there and you should be there too over at uh, Twitch.com tv slash lisa penrose uh i think that's it for me i don't oh uh, yeah next hey what's up hi okay oh. Oh. Hey, i'm next right no. i don't even know i don't know what order we're going <laughs> on i'm just gonna like me my main screen <laughs> that's okay. uh hey what's going on you can find me on all social media under carlos grits that's all i got going on right now and this show it's pretty cool uh, cool. Go to gener- generationfantasy.com. It's yeah. we bought a we bought a domain. And <laughs> yeah, that's it's, money. It costs money, so you know we're invested in it. So <laughs> go ahead and invest some time in it. And then I also bought kmthedm.com. Well that's so that's that's just also, an, that, that's, but that's, that's on you. I, that's only I haven't used that's, anything. I also own katiemate.gay now. <laughs> <laughs> that's also just tangentially related to this conversation. What was the first one? Wait, what was the first one you bought though? KMTheDM.com. That's where you go and you can see all my Dungeon Master prep. You can see the subclass, the custom oh. subclass for Kent mm. Vanderbilt. You can see my session outline uh, template. You can steal it for your own games. You can see all the little plot threads I have. Katie about- Mae, this is my plug time. Uh, I don't know if you know that. Uh, don't <laughs> plug your superhero cape uh, like, <laughs> website. Your mom made you or something. Yeah. Go to uh, I'mWellAdjusted.com. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, that's it. Selena, you're up. I literally had nothing to talk about. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Selani. Um, I'm at Mistress Press on Twitter and Twitch, and I am DMing for Plot Hunters on Saturday. Hopefully, we actually play this Saturday because we missed a couple Saturdays, and uh, we have a finishing up our fourth season. So, it'll be awesome. Hell yeah. Congrats, congrats. Nice, congrats. And then I think it's just me. Hey guys, mm-hmm. uh, I'm Masood. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm a rude boy, M A H R U D B O I. Um, I'm doing this Wednesdays. I'm uh, GMing Monster of the Week with Stir Friday Night over on Roll Twenty. Uh, we're having a blast. We're just going to be hitting into episode five tomorrow. It's real fun. Come hang out with us. Uh, have a good time. Um, I'm Sundays are currently off for um, Rivals because we're in between seasons. Um, and you know what? At some point. Katie May and I might start streaming on Thursdays again. It might it might even happen. Who knows? Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. But Katie May, tell them about yourself. Hi, I'm Katie May or KM the DM, and I've been your dungeon master for the evening. Hope you liked it. If you don't, rot. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. <laughs> oh my God. Is that the energy? Rot. Is that, is, I love that. That's guys, good. is that the marketing plan we're going with? <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. Is that, uh, if you is go, that what that rot. meant? Go rot. Go, <laughs> just go rot. I, I Hell yeah. To that bit. I'm really sorry. Um, it just came off way stronger than I was Honestly, expecting. I like it. I'm good. I've never, it. I've never used rot as a command. I've never told someone to like Jeez, decay rot. away. Rot. It's, it has a lot of power to it. It's good. That's good. Um, so uh, you can find me if you want to know how to use your words. Uh, you can go to twittercom slash If you want to uh-huh. see the two TikToks I've made, you can go to Katie May on TikTok too. Okay. But the actual place where you do want to see me is every Friday on twitchtv slash May, where I do session prep for this very show. Ooh. If you want to learn my secrets. If you want to hear me talk about hot moms, uh, that's where you got to go. Um, <laughs> the marketing like, plan on all these, Katie. We got to talk about <laughs> You want to see me talk about hot moms? I'll, I'll mention hot moms. I'll mention... <laughs> well, the algorithm will love hot moms. The algorithm will love this. This time uh, I'm hot, she's going be. Honestly, yeah. yeah this seen her? Is, uh, uh, anyways, uh, that's been Generation Fantasy. Thanks for coming out. Remember, you can go to generationfantasy.com to check out the in real, uh, in universe uh, conspiracy blog, which I know you should maybe check, uh, see if there's any updates. Oh, yeah. um, and uh, besides that, I think I think it's this, the, uh, the sweet goodbye for this evening. Uh, we'll see you this time next week, gamers. Cool.
Bye, everyone. Not. Bye. 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 Bye.